Hello guys. Today, I'm playing some solo. I literally logged into this server five seconds ago and I just heard a rocket raid in this direction. I'm gonna go check it out and see what happens. See if maybe we can make a play. But today, we're playing some official vanilla rust and I'm playing an actual solo wipe. I'm gonna actually try and play solo and stick with it. Uh, solo has been a little bit brutal for me lately, but I'm gonna stick with it and really try and, you know, hunker down and try and play solo. I can only assume that this is the raid. I literally just heard like a bunch of rockets going off. We're gonna check it out. Maybe we could just make a nice little play like five seconds within joining, which would be nice. Looks like there's a full geared guy laddering up. There's a turret up there though. Please kill him. Never mind, he saw it. Well, we're gonna see if we could counter this raid. I doubt we're gonna be able to make anything happen. I'm never able to make anything happen in raids like this, but maybe we could make a quick play. I'm sitting a little funny in this chair. Oh God. Oh God, don't look back, don't look back. Okay, there's a bow guy. Ah, uh, dude, they raided a solo, okay. Interesting. I don't even know where they could have blown. I don't even see a breach at all. Super weird, huh? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm in trouble. I am gonna die. You heard nothing. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. Oof. Okay, I gotta sit up in my chair. I'm hoping these guys get countered and I can make like an insane play. I don't think they know I'm here yet. Oh no, did he just see me? Oh, he did. GG's. No. Maybe there's going to be some pickups I can get. I was hoping he wouldn't see me. Try and get back there. That's an insane raid. Like, uh, are you kidding me? Gotta be kidding, bro. I'm hoping there's some, uh, you know, so a little, little, little bit of leftovers, maybe. I'm a leftover kind of guy. Bro, I swear. This game, dude, it just wants me to spawn not near the raid, man. Okay, um, I'm gonna keep trying. I feel like if I had a DB at that raid, man, oh, everything would be different. All right, we got a decent spawn, so I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try and get over there and see if I can even make a play. Maybe we get lucky, pick up a weapon off the floor or something. It looks like they're raiding from this tugboat. And I'm pretty sure that they might be. There's lockers on the outside of that tugboat. Are those? There's got to be fridges or something. But they really... Or maybe vending machines? Oh, those look like lockers. I don't know. What are the odds that there's like a gear set in those lockers? Dare I say not impossible? I'm t If I could get a gun, I could make a play on these guys. And I'm assuming they're living out of that tugboat. Maybe. Which means we could do a tugboat raid. I'd be down for a little tugboat raiding. Little tugboat raid action. Got a spear. I don't know. It kind of only makes sense. It actually makes no sense at all, but we're just going to see because I'm curious. Whole lot of nothing. This tug has got to be loaded, though. Ah, oh, wait. Hold up. Can I make an Ioka? Uh, you never know. Is this considered being down bad? Scavenging for anything? Maybe a little down bad. This has got to be them, dude. Look at this tugboat. Oh, I can look in. They, did, they didn't fully block it properly. What do they got in there? Beds, tier threes. Dude, this tug is loaded. Oh, man. I got to keep an eye out for this tugboat. I have to. That's an insane raid if I can pull it off. Just need to get a little bit of more wood for an Ioka. That would be a crazy raid if I can actually pull it off, man. And it is turning nighttime, so I might be able to make a play on these AK guys. I'm not going to hold my breath, though. I think they're trying to break the tool cupboard. I'm so dead, dude. No. Don't look at me. Looks like it's a duo. Oh, wait a minute. Anything, weapon, anything. Locker? Locked locker? 
that they didn't break. What? Why didn't they break that? They're going to come back with more boom. They're going to come back with more boom. I'm going to stash this MP5. So that way I have like a second life just in case. They've got to come back with more boom. No way they didn't break that. Why wouldn't you have even at least just shot it? They could have just shot it out. And this AK has silencer flashlight extended mag. So this is like, whoa, dude. This is like an insane start. Oh, I also have a Tommy too. Okay, so we have a couple lives, but I need to make something happen with this AK. 100%. Something's got to work out here. They're going to come back with some more boom. I might even be able to raid the tugboat too. I'm not going to hold my breath here, but this might be actually an insane start. I can't, I swear to God, I, I have no idea why they would have just left that. You always break lockers, man. Always. I make another stash. No way, dude. All right. I'm, dude, I'm like nervous now. Jesus. They've got to be back for more boom. There's no way they're just going to give up. I'm hoping they come back while it's still nighttime, though. I have to try and kill them, and then I need to immediately put them on timer and hope they bring enough boom for me to raid the tugboat. Maybe I should just, I'm just going to wait by the base, I think. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just chill by this base and I'll see them coming back. And I, I'm not going to skyline or anything. I have like the low ground out here and I'll, I'll see them coming. They're going to come from around there because that's where they ran from. Oh my God, there's a guy in here. He has night vision. I need that. Dude, I thought, like, that buzzing I heard in the base was, like, a furnace or something. Not a player. Either way, good thing I won that. Where'd I kill this guy? Pure T. Alrighty. Um, let me go back to stash this stuff, then, I guess. Dude, wow, this is, like, turning out to be an insane wipe. All right, I swear to God, guys, I'm not even playing. I just spawned in on the server, like, maybe five minutes ago. This is like my fastest solo start I've ever had. Oh my God. He should be dead. Um, isn't that the guy I just killed in chat? I have no idea what is going on right now. Why do I feel like... Yeah, okay, that guy just is the guy I just killed in chat who typed, let's go. This guy looked like full kit. Same thing. Okay, they all have pure orties, man. What is happening? Oh, I have like the night fucking the Navy SEALs on my ass, dude. What is going on? I'm nervous, bro. I'm not hiding these stashes because I know I'm going to forget where I put them. So as long as I just don't hide the stash, I think we'll be good. And if I chill right here, they should see me. I just want the Raiders to come back, man. I'll take the pure orties, though. These are insane, man. Uh-oh. is going on dude the guy i just killed dude what is going on this is like insane this is just crazy i i need a face mask shit i didn't even have a flashlight what the heck is going on it's turning morning which is not what we want kind of lose our big advantage with the night vision Just give me give me the face mask i guess i must have depoed the other one uh, i'm hoping i don't lose this ak this AK is going to be a... I can win a 1v2 AK fight for sure. I think these other guys are like 3 deep or something. I have no idea. I can't believe they didn't break the locker. I'm still astonished by that. That's like the most bonehead thing I've ever seen. Silencer is OP, man. When you're solo, having a silencer is crazy. Let's go see if that tugboat's still there. I don't know what direction the raiders ran off in. Oh, that, that, I'm killing the raiders right now. I didn't even realize that. So maybe they don't live on the tugboat then. Maybe, maybe they live somewhere else. I may, that might, God. Come back with rockets, please. Why, why are the, oh, they, they that's why they have the pure Ortiz. Because they don't have enough boom. That makes sense. They don't have enough boom, so they have pure, they're trying to farm sulfur. Oh, oh, I just saw a geared guy up there. I'm going to try and go up that hill, I think. Hopefully I don't get spotted. If I get spotted, I'm I'm in a bad spot, and I don't have any walls either. Yeah, they got a farm sulfur to blow into the last the last loot room. 
or the loot rooms, not even the last ones, the loot room. They, they're not even in the loot rooms yet. I saw a geared guy up here, I think. Looked like he's running right my direction. He was like up here. I don't see any sign of life, which makes me nervous. Dude, oh, he found, okay, that's not good. He found my stash. I'm gonna try and get out of here. Oh, I see him. Okay, well, that's where the geared guy went. I am in the worst spot imaginable. I'm gonna die. No, I'm gonna just try and run, I think, for now. Okay, well, I guess I gotta pray that they don't find the other stashes, but either way, I don't think they will. This is an interesting problem to have. If I can get close to this other AK guy, I'm pretty confident I'll kill him. Or if I could just get a big flank on him, but I, I gotta, like, store this loot. God, man. This is the great escape. I don't even know if that's the guy that I was just shooting at. Dude, I, I don't even know. I'm gonna just stash some guns here, I guess. Dude, what is going on here? I don't think that was. The guy that I thought I was shooting at was like full, full forest kit. I'm a little worried. He's kind of a bit of a, it's a bit of a flanker. get out of here again away we run dude what the heck dude these guys are feeding uh oh oh my god man i'm like actually <laughs> like guys i'm ashamed to admit i'm sweating in real life oh i'm low on ammo did i not grab his ammo or something i'm actually right next to bandit camp um i might just f1 kill in bandit camp i think that's what i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna f1 kill in bandit camp and then I'll just respawn and get use like a Tommy or an MP5 or something. That way I can guarantee myself like a good start. Uh-oh. Don't shoot at me. What an insane beginning. I can't. I'm, I've said it like a hundred times. I'm sorry, but I've been on the server for 26 minutes. Literally. This is going to be a finally a good solo wipe, man. It's I've been I've been begging for one and I know you guys have been wanting to see one too. So I'm going to try. I know I say this like. A little bit frequently not all the time but sometimes i'm gonna really try and build like a good base and stuff and uh play the wipeout should be a good time all right let's uh spawn in our bag here okay they didn't find these i'll just take an mp5 if i die it doesn't matter anymore i've secured two ak's so i think i'm good holy man i gotta find where these guys live dude these guys are pretty loaded i guess not on sulfur though Maybe. Surely they live right here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need anything I could get my hands on. Oh, I forgot I still have other MP5s stashed away too. Oh, jeez, man. Let me go just take a look. I just kind of want to see what, what we're, you know, what are we dealing with here? Pretty solid sized farm. But I don't see a big base. I see two farms maybe and no big base. I'm assuming that that might be a base though. It's probably like a farm and a base. I hope they didn't find my bolt because I kind of really want to keep that. But you know what, man? It is fine. It is all right. It's got to be one of these. I mean, they're coming out with keys. So this has got to be them for sure. It is all quiet here on the Western front. Actually... Yeah, we're literally on the western front. Oh. I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not sorry. I still think that tugboat is obscenely loaded. Don't finish me, bro. 
<laughs> what? Okay. Dude, McChicken with the blank chat message. Aren't, isn't that a, like a god hemp clone? G-Y-G-G-H or something? I think, or, I don't know. Some hemp farmers in the chat gotta let me know on that. I have no clue. I'm just, dude, I killed Big Dink Henry. Killed him with all the wood. I'm sorry, Henry, man. I didn't even take his tool. <laughs> the guys I just stole the raid from are trying to tell this other guy how to learn the, the game. <laughs> oh, man. It's actually good advice, though. If you guys want to learn how to play, like, Rust, PC Rust, Console Rust, it's a really hard game to learn. You either need friends who already know it, or if you don't have that, I have no friends because I play this game all the time. Oh my god, they didn't find it. Okay, let me just get... Let me just get the main stuff I care about. And let me try... Get out of here. Yeah, if you're trying to learn this game, the best thing to do is to just look at, like, YouTube tutorials. Like, how to build a proper base, how to run monuments, stuff like that. It helps so much. It's, like, the best thing you can do. Speaking of help, I gotta help myself to build a base. I don't know where I want to even build yet. Like, I haven't even... I genuinely have been on the server for so little time, I, I haven't even looked at the map. I, I don't even... I don't even know where I am on this map. So... Excavator does keep getting activated. Outpost is down there. It's pretty interesting. Launch site is in the snow. Launch site is pretty brutal. Actually, I kind of like it up here, though. You have Milton's launch site. HQM core is kind of close. I don't know if it's, uh... Oh. I don't know if it's taken or not, but I should always look. Let me just look when I get into Bandit. Let me be responsible and, uh... Let me make it to Bandit in one piece first. Oh, here we go. Horse. Clutch. It sounds geared. Oh. Oh my god, man. What the heck, dude? This is like, I am not equipped for all this today. What the fuck, dude? It's just like free loot day. All right, I'm going to leave the god clones with that guy. I don't think I'm going to make a farm today or like at all. Not right now. I want to I want to do a hemp farm in the future, but not right now. That's a little, little, little bit, a little bit too much. <laughs> Guys, I got a lot on my plate right now. I got, I have a lot on my plate, but it's like a lot of good food. You know what I mean? I have like a bunch of Wagyu steak on my plate. Let me get my MP5s that I threw here earlier. Uh, jeez, man. Uh, yeah, I have a bunch of like Wagyu steak on my plate, but there's still a lot on my plate. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, bear, bear with me here. I'm like a mess right now. I feel like first order business should be to raid that tugboat. Honestly. All right. Let's look at my other body too. My God, man. Oh, I'm loaded. I'm loaded, man. This is so hype, dude. First order business. Well, I, that's sorry. Not first order. It's like second or third order business. Step one, we got to build a base. And let me recycle the comps I just got off of like the most loaded revolver farmer ever. And then we'll figure this thing out. Or we'll figure out where we want to build. I might build in this area, I think. Because you have launch site, power plant, barn for horses, supermarket, mill tons. Yeah, I might build right here, but I do like being next to the ocean. I might check that swamp, see if that swamp's open. I doubt it will be, but it, it always could be. You never know, I guess. I could risk it, man. I could, I could risk it. I just put it all on one, and then I could buy a mini and low grade to spare. That's tempting, man. I mean... <laughs> What do we need scrap for? We don't need scrap for anything. I, th I actually think it's a prudent move. It's like a 50% chance to hit one. Okay, it just hit one, man. That's a shame. Uh, <clears throat> a little bit nervous about this one. Um, hmm. All right. I'm going to let this one. I'm going to sit this one out and I'll go on the next one. Please don't be one. Please don't be one. If it's going to be one, I'm going to be upset. Oh my god, guys. Guys. Oh, jeez, man. I guess I do have the horse. Like, worst comes to worst, I have the horse. I have all the materials for a base. 
Dude, um, I why am I so nervous? I don't, I I lose like millions of scrap every time I play, and I'm never this nervous. Oh man. All right, you know what? What if we do like a nice little split spread or something like that? Fuck it. I don't know. Please uh hit three, I think. Or one. Well, yeah, don't hit five or ten. Okay. Okay, wait. Wait. We profited from that? Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know how we just profited from that. I'm going to put 200 scrap on one. Please hit one. Please hit one, man. Please. Come on. This might just... If this hits one, this has got to be the luckiest solo start I've ever had. Hands down. The luckiest solo start I've ever had. Please just hit one. That's all you got to do. You just got to hit one for us. Hit one for the boys. That might be 10. Or three. It's one. Let's go. Oh. Okay. All right. We're, we are taking this good fortune. This is not even good for... This is blessed fortune, dude. The Rust Gods? Oh, man. They're like, Blaze is hopping on to play solo. All right. Let's, uh, let's let him... Let's let, let, let's let him cook. You know what I'm saying? So this, I have like another 20 minutes before this despawns which i really don't want i i'm gonna try and reset the timer on this then this is gonna take a little bit of time but i'm gonna reset the timer on it it's kind of annoying but then that way we'll have an hour and we'll be good to go i think it's smart smart to do i i've lost so much loot to bandit camp man i don't want to like i don't want to repeat it and this is kind of a big loss f1 kill again run back loot my body and then yeah we'll be good See if these guys are continue raiding at all. Something tells me they haven't. All they have to do is blow one garage door and they're good. I don't know. I don't know why they they wouldn't have done it already. Yeah, they're not blowing it for some reason. Interesting. I think they just gave up on the raid for some reason. Kevin, I want to be friendly because I'm solo. You 2v1 me. I come back and shred you. Sorry. Oh, jeez. I respect it. That's Chad attitude. Okay. Um... All right, I need to go really fast. I need to go immediately to outpost, buy low grade, and to my build spot, build a little base, and then we'll be good to go. All right, there's a camper with, like, dude. Oh, this is going to be a good server, man. I'm stoked. I'm actually so hyped to be playing solo. It's been a long time since I've been, like, super excited to play solo. And I'm really excited. I think we could do, like, a nice, fun, long wipe here. All right, I got to go build a base so quick, it's not even funny. I'm going to go check that swamp. If the swamp's taken, I'll see if I can find a suitable area around the swamp. My hopes are a little bit low. It looks like there's been some clans on this server at some point. These guys just took over. Oh, my God. They just completely own the caves. I'm going to take a flight over high pole quarry to see if it's taken. Someone was here at some point. The ruins of a once great civilization. Ah. I mean, it's usable, not livable though. Oh man, dude, look at all this stone. Hold up. I'm gonna hit a quick farm sesh here. I don't think I'm gonna use the pure ore tea. I'm gonna save the pure ore tea for when I need sulfur, so that way I can get a lot of sulfur. I don't want to waste it on like getting some stone. I don't even need that much. All right. Well. That's about all I can carry. I gotta be quick getting back to Bandit, man. I really hope my stuff doesn't despawn, but if it does, it is what it is. It, it, all of it won't. I should clarify. Just the first body will despawn. I'll definitely have time for the second body, which I already took the AK off of it and stuff. But the first body could despawn, so we don't want that. If I can take over the swamp solo, that'd be kind of nuts. I have low aspirations, though, or something. I, I don't... I see a free tier 2 right there on a decaying base. No shot. And look at this. The swamp is... Uh... Uh-huh. Swamp is... 
at one point. Wait, there's a loot on the floor. Can I get here just in time, dude? Ah, this is fucking scripted, man. Guys. 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 Uh. Guys. I... Oh, someone actually was here. Oh, my. Uh, I don't even... Guys, none of my videos are scripted. What the fuck, man? No chance. Let me build a little base right over here. That's pretty loaded. Oh. I didn't mean to place that. I didn't mean to place that. Uh... Hopefully it still works out. Dude, what? I should clarify, it's currently like 1 a.m. I decided to hop on for a little late wipe action. Okay, my, my solo wipe isn't that lucky. It's not, it's not lucky enough for the triangle. It's lucky enough for pretty much everything else though. We'll take it. Can't complain, man. Okay, we gotta loot this really quick though. I kinda keep forgetting that there's just a bunch of loot sitting in fucking bandit camp. Although, I don't know if it matters much anymore. Dude, I wonder if there was a bunch of soul for here that this guy took. Like, if this guy's not taking, like, HLMGs and stuff, there must have been some crazy soul for here. Like, check this. He didn't even, like... Damn, some turrets. That's good. Yeah, he didn't even, like, loot this. Like, this box probably was loaded or something. That or he just couldn't get to it. This was his solo? Dude, what am I doing wrong? Only issue is I don't know where to build now because the swamp is kind of where I wanted to build. I could probably just build a little something in this area. I wouldn't mind that. I just got to fill this thing with boxes for now, man. I need a sleeping bag in here because I still don't have that. But uh, yeah, it is pretty late at night. My sleep schedule is whacked out. But I was like, you know what? I feel like playing solo. I'm going to do it. And I guess I am quite happy that I did do it. I think this is turning out pretty good. So far. Is there a pistol ammo? Oh, my god. I don't even... I'm gonna see if I can just break this camper, because... I'm just a little worried, because there was definitely someone here at some point. Hey! You know what? We'll take it. And I can use the camper. Um, alright. I have to go back, though. I have to go back to get... Ah, oh, man, I'm burdened by too much loot. Oh, jeez, I'm an hour into this wipe and I'm already burdened with too much loot. That's pretty rare. This is, I think it's safe to say this is my best solo start ever, though. All right, I'm going to make one more loot trip and then maybe I should just make the run or maybe just get a train from Bandit. No, well, yeah, fuck. Oh, my God. This is probably this guy's junk loot, dude. I'm getting, like, the leftover scraps. I can only imagine what was, like, actually once here is probably insane. Right, one more. One more run. One more run. I still have enough time. I still have, like, 20 minutes on that kit before it actually despawns. But I usually try and give myself, like, a lot of spare time. But I think in this case, this is a special exception here. This is like all the stone I'll need. I'll be able to instantly build a base. I'm gonna try and build something cool. I'm no lucky llama. In fact, I don't know what base I could build. If I'm being completely honest, I can maybe build like a four by four that will get offline rated near instantly. Considering that's the best base I know how to build, I think we're just gonna have to go with it, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's a shame. I wish I could build a little better. Man, there's just so much loot on the floor. I can't help myself. It's like it's Christmas. I completely forgot about the rest of this box, though. I'll just try and stack this. Alright, we're pretty much... We have, like, everything. In fact, I think we do have everything. Everything of major value, anyways. Probably, like, someone yelling at their monitor right now about the bandit camp bodies. I know, I know. I'm going, I'm going. All the sulfur, too. How much sulfur? We might even be able to raid 
he might be able to raid that tugboat off of what we just got. Maybe. I mean, we I think it's an armored door on the back. We gotta we gotta scout it out first. Let's one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Let me just cancel all this metal I just got. All this beautiful metal. All right. Let me fly back and get the bodies now. Finally. Oh, I should probably place this bed here. All right. I wonder what's gonna be inside this like car base. I see smoke coming out of it. Let me just look at this really quick. Oh, it's decaying too, huh? That's decaying as well. Dude, I think I logged on at literally the perfect time. I have a feeling that the car base is gonna be loaded as well. Some funny reason, given that this thing was loaded. I can't believe this was all a solo, man. Respect to the solo brethren out there. I love it, I love it. This looks like it could probably be juiced up too. Eh, that looks kind of rated actually. That looks very rated. Take that back. Yeah, respect to the solo brethren out there that like get loaded. It's like Lucky Llama, like he'll just play a wipe and get so stupid loaded, it's not even funny. I respect it. I gotta, I gotta get back to it. It's been a while since I've actually like, you know, properly done it. This is it, this is the return. Return of the solo wipe. All right, the body's still here. We're good. All right, made it. Not bad. Now we gotta go back and get the other body. All right, get the rest of it vacuumed up. Good stuff, love to see it. I thought I saw a little something on the way. There's like this base that looked like it got raided, uh, but it looked like it had like a tier three in it. So if I could just skip straight to a tier three, we will literally be raiding in no time, bro. So let me, let me go just, let me just go land at it and see, but never mind. it was a tier one. All right, made it. Yeah, good stuff. Dude, let's go. What a come up. What a bonkers come up, man. I don't know why I'm talking like I'm like a cartoon character, but I think I do that a lot anyways. This is pretty nuts though. Let me go look. I want to go see if they finish that raid just out of curiosity. And then when it turns daytime, we'll get that tier three or the tier two that we saw that was decaying on the way here. Dude, they still haven't even finished it. Oh, shit. All right. Very interesting. If we get a boom come up, we might have to uh, come back here. I'm going to go get that tier two, though. Take the pump shotgun incense. Little hazmataz over there. Let's go get that tier two. It was somewhere down here down the cliff. I'll be able to find it easy. No problem. No problem. I just hope it's not busted. It has to be somewhere down here. I don't... There it is. This is it. Ooh, heli just came out. Mad loot. Mad loot. Crazy. Uh, I think that's livable. I think we could pick that up. How many HEs was that? Five? We'll take it. Not bad. I spawn top left. Nothing in tool cupboard. All right. Please don't break. Ah, I broke. Okay. Um. Well, that's kind of an issue. I really want to get into this car garage first. I'm like torn. Is there a repair bench somewhere over here? Dude, there's still so much loot, man. Ah, oh, jeez. Dust. Um. What a come up, though. What a good... Oh, there is a repair bench. Uh, how much does this cost? 100 metal, 4 high claw, and 100 scrap. That's not even that bad. That's easy. Light work. Dude, this was a big solo base. I, I respect the hell out of this guy, man. That is crazy. It's an insane solo base. Obviously now it's a lot smaller because it decayed, but like imagine at one point you're a solo player, you've got like a whole thing, wall off, you know, the swamp, whatever. That's what I'm thinking of. And we're out of space, cool. Very nice. All right, we do have to, do I have any scrap in here? I don't think I have scrap. Eh, 39. I mean, I just need to farm 100 scrap. That's easy. I could just recycle these fuses too. No problem. see where heli is oh interesting okay there's probably a pretty big group down there 
it's an that's kind of cool it's an island with a cave on it so it's an interesting spot i say we just focus on getting the sub and the torpedoes honestly i think that should be our focus right now and we do have this cooked sulfur i'm just gonna turn it all into gp for now take all the charcoal i got i don't have pipes but i'll be able to get pipes pretty easily just gonna use the mixing table over here is there a fishing village nearby Jeez. That's probably our scrap fixed. Uh, we're going to make Lucky Llama proud with this base we're going to build. I swear. I'm really just going to leave the rest of this to decay. Because I there's like literally there's too much here. I've never run into this problem before where there's too much loot. It's kind of weird. I mean, it's good. It's a very good problem to have. I don't remember how many pipes I need to raid the tugboat, though. I literally raided with tugboats last night, and I'm already forgetting, somehow. Let's just see how many we can craft with what we have now. I think I actually almost nearly have enough. Because it's 30 gunpowder. If I want to make 300 torpedoes, which is definitely enough, it will cost me 3,000 gunpowder and I think 30 pipes, I think. I, I don't know, guys. I can't do math here. I think I have enough. I don't think I used more than... 300 torpedoes last night and we raided like a whole fleet so i'm pretty sure we have enough i mean i just need to get the pipes but that should be pretty easy i guess we'll just let me just kit up and i will take the camper that is there and uh go on a pipe hunt I'm gonna hunt for some pipes i'm gonna have to repair the hell out of this camper though and i need some pants dude also we're gonna have to build a, a new base at some point but i think i really am just gonna build like right in this area somewhere so I'm gonna build right in this area, 100%. Like, I could build something nice over there or something. Alright. Camper is mine. Oh, Jesus, dude. Okay, let's go get some pipes. I'm trying to think the best way to get pipes is... Probably, honestly, just driving around. I could hit road signs with the car like this. Okay. Like this. Damages the car, but it does drop a pipe. It might not be the worst idea. It's not It's not the worst idea I've had. I've had worse ideas. Okay. What the hell, man? If I want to craft 100... Oh, I need 100 pipes? Oh, jeez. Wait, right? Yeah, I think. I think that math is correct. Why is this so hard for me? Oh, my God. God, what the fuck? Dude, hitting hitting road signs with the car is kind of hilarious. I'll just check, like, gas stations and stuff. I, I think that's faster than hitting, like, every individual road sign. It's probably faster to just loot them from gas stations and the like. And I don't even think I need 100. I just can't tell. I don't know how to do math. I just want to make sure I have enough so that way if they like spawn in or I get countered, we'll be good. And I could also buy pipes from Outpost too. How much does that cost though? 30 scrap per pipe. Okay, that's a bit brutal. Just suck it up and go for a little ride. Maybe we counter a raid that has a lot of pipes or find a decaying base. I don't know. We'll see. But this is probably, probably going to take me a few hours. This is what you guys don't see that gets edited out is like three hours of parp. Pipe farming, parping, parming. Pipe farming. It's a guy on a horse right here. I'm gonna run him down. <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> oh. Please tell me you have pipes. No pipes. That was fucking awesome. Oh. I actually have to make my way to Junkyard anyways to get a... What do you call it? Dude, what is that? Is that, is that a water base?
Dude, it's online. There's furnaces on in this thing. What? That's pretty cool. God, there's a lot of really good raid targets on this server for sure. I'm like so excited to actually play and uh, play out like a long wipe because there's so many cool raid targets. I don't even know what to start with. You know what base probably definitely has pipes? The base that was getting raided earlier. I'm sure that that thing's got some pipes, but no luck, man. I'm I'm getting like literally have have five pipes this whole time. Uh, we're gonna have to come up with something better. I think I gotta hit the subway tunnels or something. Well, this is the clan. Oh fuck! No, oh, my god! I almost just lost the car. This is the clan that took Heli earlier. Yeah, these guys kind of look like they mean business for sure. Oh wow, they're walling off lighthouse too, man. Brutal. Or wait, no. This is the clan that took that took Heli. Okay, so there's like two island alliances. Okay, very interesting. All right, gotta be kind of careful with this car. It's gonna break. Oh, you guys feel that bump in the road? What what was that? I have no idea. I'm gonna just spin uh spin a circle back to the base. And go in the subway, I think. This car is quick, though, yo. I like it. That tugboat's still here? Oh, the tugboat is gone? Oh, shit. Dude, the tugboat's gone. Oh, very interesting. Let's see if they finish this raid. Very interesting. The tugboat is gone. We're gonna have to find that thing. Nope. They didn't finish, and the doors repair themselves. Okay, the tugboat is gone. Okay, we gotta, dude, we gotta locate the tug. I'm like addicted to tugboat raiding. It's so fun. Am I weird for that? Maybe a little bit. It's just so easy to do. It's got to be around here though. Probably. Like I have a feeling that maybe it was the guys who were raiding that it was their tugboat. So it might be parked around here somewhere. Maybe. Nope. No sign of the tugboat. Uh oh. Maybe they're like parking them in the safe zones. Oh, he's loaded. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, we gotta be quick. Any pipes? Yoohoo! He's got five pipes. It is a pretty good comps run. Yeah, I don't know why you would shoot at the car. I feel like that's a bad idea. I'm a little worried that this could be their base, though. Must not be. Okay. Well, um, we'll take it. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I wonder if that was one of the guys I literally, yeah, it was. Um, I don't really want this garbage gear set. Damn, brutal. Camper Van Rome turning out to be an astounding success. Oh, is this the tugboat? Did we find it? I think it is. Let's hop on and see if this is the tug. I didn't see any furnaces on it, but. Oh my God, dude. There's like 50 million bags in there this is definitely not it but there's like 10 or more sleeping bags in that tug so someone's out here tugging it up dude someone is the question is who if we can't find the tug i'll probably just try and build a base build an actual real life actual rust base and i'm not seeing this tugboat or any sign of it it'd be kind of a shame if it uh if it just like went away i'm sure we'll find it at some point it will show itself not in this safe zone either. Very interesting. All right, I'm gonna hit a recycle here. Try and get my scrap up a little bit. What do we got going on? 
little human activity out here in the deep snow this late at night always an interesting sign what wait why are they roaming outside the zone i don't think i've ever seen that before oh oh dude look at that iceberg raid man this server is just asking for us to raid for sure damn we're coming off fat from this 600 scrap roam Light roam, light work. 700 scrap, easy. I'm gonna see if I could research the uh, high quality car parts so I could repair them. Cause this thing's gonna break soon and I don't want that. I feel like campers are so good for solo. It's kind of nuts. I, I should I should actually try and like use them more when I play solo. Yeah, what the fuck? I've never seen scientists like over there. Very interesting. I'm hoping we could find like a sulfur farmer out here. Deep snow sulfur farmer. But I'm not going to push my luck. We've had a pretty good roam so far. Deep farm. Deep snow builder. Uh. What? What an interesting. I'm just straight up stealing, dude. I'm not even like. Damn. Live long enough to see yourself become the villain, I guess. Yo, leave my shit there, Blaze. What? <laughs> I haven't even talked in game, bro. All right, you know what? He's, he's that much of a blazer. I'll leave his shit. I don't even understand. Like, what? how did I just get recognized? I don't know. You guys wonder why I can't like talk in game that much. That's like a prime example. I mean, I just got recognized and there's nothing that like my Steam profile doesn't say Blaze. My name is literally Solo. I That's crazy. That is wild. All right, we made it back home. Good stuff. Let's get this all in base and uh, I think we'll start, start trying to build the base. It is turning nighttime, so we might as well build while it's night. And we'll leave an AK in the camper, why not? I want to build something with a bunker. I just have no idea how to build something with a bunker. Where's my tier 2? We'll go repair this real quick. Alrighty. Very nice. Workbench repaired. 600 scrap left over. Not too shabby. Um. Okay, let me pull out the think tank here. I'm trying to think of like a base that I've built before. Every time I play solo, I just build like a stacked up 2x2. Two two. Honestly, I might just build one of those again. I kind of like it because I know how to build it. I know I could make it strong. And you guys might be going, well, why don't you build something different? Because a stacked up 2x2, two two, I feel like people are confident enough to raid. People will like look at like a big 4x4 four four base and go, I can't raid that. But like a 2x2... Two that's like, you know, honeycombed. People go, I could raid that, especially if he's solo. So I think actually that would be really good odds of getting an online raid, which I really desperately want. I want like full raid base outside everything. And since I'm actually trying to play the wipeout, I'm going to try and build like a serious base with turrets and shit. Like full on the real deal. We're going to build it like somewhere over here. And we have mining outposts, oxums to recycle at, which is pretty good. So... Not too bad. And we could just use this as like a flank base or something. Okay. This might be crazy. What if I shotgun raid that car base? Probably a little bit ludicrous. But I actually think I might have enough to do it. Should I try it? I mean, it is nighttime, so... I don't think we're missing out on much. I can't really build at night. I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. Why not? It's kind of funny. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use all this buckshot for anything else either. Okay, that's at 160. 140. 130. Hmm. 132. I think that's the lowest. I might have enough for this, actually. All right, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. All right. Here we go. 
It actually looks like we're gonna have like just barely not enough. I'm gonna have to pull out the slugs. Oh jeez. I just probably used like seven million gunpowder. Alright. Oh, we got boxes. Oh, we got a lot of boxes. Hold up. Oh. Please have loot. Oh, okay. Already worth it. Oh, oh! There's the pipes! <gasps> Guys. Oh my god! What? Oh my god. God, I can't believe this. I'm so. This is so. <laughs> oh my God, man! What, dude? What the fuck, dude? I was just happy with one AK kit. I have a box of AKs, M2s. I mean, I'm curious if this guy was maybe stashing loot. I mean, this is the same solo guy we got that decaying base from. I wonder if he was stashing the loot in here to come back for it, but it is decaying, so... I cannot believe that is insane, bro. I don't have to play the game. I'm, I won for the wipe. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is like hacker loot, bro. I'm not saying it is, but like... This is crazy. Another AK kit. Nice. Okay, well... My god, we gotta figure out how to get out of here, though. I don't think there was a ladder in here, was there? Dude, what? I don't- I, I genuinely don't have room for this. This must have been, like, Earth's most Chad solo player. Like, seriously. This guy is like an ultra Chad. Dude, honestly, it would not surprise me if this was, like, remnants of a Lucky Llama wipe. I'm not even joking. It would not even surprise me in the slightest. It's probably got to be one of the most profitable eco raids I've ever done. I mean, I'd call buckshot raiding an eco raid kind of. Sort of like maybe, I don't know, maybe in between an eco raid and whatever. Dude, it doesn't even matter, man. I am so gooped out. This is insane. I live out of a two by one, bruh. I don't even know. Okay, I have to build a new base. That's like, there's no more stalling. Dude, what? This is my greatest solo wipe ever. I gotta go back there. Dude, I don't- I genuinely, like, don't have enough storage for this. I wanna try and get to the TC on that thing, dude. And there's, like, literally C4 in there. I could use the C4 to raid in, but I don't think I really wanna do that. Oh my god, dude. The wood, man. Tier 3, the pipes. We're chilling. That's crazy awesome. I'm stoked, guys. <laughs> the least sounding stoked person ever, but, like, what? It's like 3 a.m. right now. Oh, blessing, dude. This is the game telling me you need to play solo. This is what it's got to be. Oh, rocket. Oh, my God. There's a rocket loaded in that. We can actually raid a decent little thing, like four doors almost worth. I really want to find that tugboat, though. It's kind of bothering me that that tugboat. I have to build a new base like that. That has to happen now. That has to happen right now. Like, I don't even have space for all this shit. Oh, dude. Okay, I'm gonna just take all this, what I can in here, and I'm gonna build a new base immediately with all this stuff. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Maybe a controversial take. I, like, in what world is, is a car base even this loaded? I've never raided into a car base as this much loot. All right, let me go find a good place to build. I want it to be in the grass, but I don't want, like, rocks if I can help it. I think right up here might be pretty solid. There is still the rocks, but then at least you have the cliff, too. It's kind of nice. I'm sorry, I can't get over that. I'm just gonna high qual this right away. That's gotta be perfect. It is! Yes, nice. Dude, what? Unreal. This wipe is a movie. I think I'm just gonna metalize the outside of the base so it's not only 20 rockets. I still have my mini just sitting outside too, which is pretty risky. I'm gonna I'm gonna just focus on upgrading the base in just a second. I gotta move all the loot out of there. Oh my god. Okay. I 
I'm going crazy. Damn, dude, this base is coming up. It's about to get a little funky, but that's how we like it around here. I'm actually really hoping I left enough space that I could like compound it in completely, which I think I did leave enough space for that. Instead of just building right now, let me just transfer. I always build at a later time. All right, <clears throat> I've been moving loot and building. Server's gonna restart soon. This is our gun box, our components box, our boom box isn't looking too good, armor. Uh, we got a little bit of scrap. I'm gonna take all this scrap and tech tree to get high external stone wall and high external stone gate. And then once the server restarts, I'll make a compound, get some turrets set up, finish building the base, we'll be good to go. We're going insane here. We are having like the greatest wipe ever. I don't even, man, this is crazy. All right, server restarts in 50 seconds. I'm gonna wait it out and finish building and I'll show you guys the completed base once it's done or at least almost done. All right, base is coming along rather nicely. We have an external TC built. I've got a, I've been crafting walls but I've got to kind of preserve them a little bit. This part is going to be very hard. I'm hoping I can wrap it around the rocks. But, uh, ooh, yo, ooh, uh, okay. The dream is still maybe a little bit alive. Maybe a little bit alive. I was hoping to put like some large furnaces or something back here. I thought they'd be kind of cooler in the back, but uh, it looks like they're gonna have to go in the front. Oh God. I wanna have a backyard, man. Let me just have my backyard. Wow, uh-oh. Okay, this is, uh, this might turn out to be a big, big issue if we can't get this like walled in. And for whatever reason, it's not, doesn't seem to want a place. I might be able to just wood wall that or something. See, that works perfectly fine. I mean, I could put a barricade there instead. Let me just try a wood wall, though. I think a wood wall might work. Oh, yeah. Not too bad. Definitely space for some large furnaces, for sure. And some turrets. And I could still get into the backyard, which is awesome. I wanted access to the backyard. I might even be able to make this in another exit or something, too, in the future. But... Let's keep building the base. I gotta build the roof so I can get the mini on, set up the windmills and turrets. We'll be good to go. Guys, I was not even recording. Going to, uh, I think I've run. <laughs> Look at the chat. I killed this guy. Look at him in chat. Solo, where do you live? I literally just was flying to go recycle at mining outpost and uh, saw this guy on a horse. Why? Saw this guy on a horse. For some reason, I he like came towards me. I, I mean, you can see he's loaded with sulfur, which is hilarious. Well, I might have just pissed off like some big dogs, and I need to get these turrets set up and this compound finished. I was literally just going to recycle. I wasn't doing anything, but I just wanted to recycle. I couldn't even. I killed him so quick. I couldn't even like hit record before that. That's hilarious, dude. This is like. My best solo wipe ever, man. I'm telling you. I'd have to play some more solo. Well, I guess I'm just going to keep recording in case I get raided. I usually stop and spit. Actually, I've, I've gotten this question a lot uh, in the comments and stuff. I usually stop and start the recording when nothing's going on in game just to like save space. If I, yeah, I'll show you when I'm recycling. My hard drives are like perpetually always full. Like always. They're never not full so usually i have to try and save footage i have to try and save footage any way i can or excuse me save storage these are the two hard drives i have this one is like a backup drive which i actually can clear out and probably should but because it's not 
an SSD or I don't know the transfer time between like getting footage onto that drive. It takes like a long time. So I usually just don't bother using that. But yeah, my drives are like always full. I need to get some higher storage drives, but I have not made it out to a micro center recently. But yeah, that's that's a question I get a lot is why do you stop recording? People get upset. I mean, I guess you miss funny or cool moments like that. But for me, that's really rare to miss like stuff. Usually, usually I'm always, you know, pretty on it about like, you know, not missing things. So I'm sorry. Anyways, long blaze rant tangent. You missed me killing the sulfur guy, but that's pretty funny. He's not very happy in chat. It is so late right now. And, um... The server just restarted, so I'm really just taking it in chill mode. I'm setting up the electronics. I'm just about to set up the turrets, get the base all finished, and then I want to really try and do a raid before I log out tonight because uh, I have a funny feeling I'm going to wake up with no base. I have a very funny feeling. I don't know what's giving me the feeling, but I have a very funny feeling that 12 mail.real is going to just completely foundation wipe me. I really hope if I get raided, it's an online, man. I'm really hoping. I mean, I get why this guy's so upset, but I don't know why. Like, why would I tell him where I live? I don't know. I, <laughs> I mean, look, I can, uh, I can understand his pain. I just need this scrap for some tier one electrical components. I'm, I have not set up a turret in forever, bro. I honestly forgot how to do it. So I'm going to have to try my hand at this. I hope I'm not getting camped by the guy I just completely killed for a bunch of sulfur, which is still kind of pretty funny. I don't know if he lives around here because last time I saw him, he was in the desert. So, but I should set up these turrets before I just get absolutely obliterated. I need a tier one. I think I'm just gonna tech tree down everything I need. I'll even get lights too. Timer, I don't even know what that does. Man, I don't know what any of this stuff does, dude. I'm such a noob. Okay. Well, I think I got everything I need. Okay. Power in. What? Find power out. How do I do this? Uh, Why did it just get to the darkest I've ever seen it get in this game? What just happened? I think I'm gonna need to set up some uh, some ceiling lights as well. All right, now I gotta remember how to do all this, dude. I I don't even know, man. Um, I think I got it. I think I just did it. All right, let's place our turrets. How many do we have? Uh, four. I think I could craft some more. I think I have the BP. It's a good start, though. Definitely gonna want a few. Actually, four seems like a pretty solid amount. I can't imagine a world where anyone blows back here. But you know what? We're gonna secure anything and everything. I think the car base decayed a little bit more. Maybe I could get that TC. I don't know how long ago it decayed though. Okay, well. See if that TC's open. Oh, ah, not much in here. I wonder if someone got to it before me, but I don't think so. Well, I'm kind of glad we didn't waste boom trying to get in there. That's good. This car base still has to go down as like one of the largest recorded dubs in Blaze history, man. I'm gonna go pop open that car base tool cupboard real quick, just in case it's like, I don't know, filled with explosives. This guy must have been so unbelievably loaded at his peak, dude. I wonder, man. I wonder how much loot he had. Well, no stashed mega loot. I can't believe this all hasn't despawned yet. It's like been on the floor for like hours now. Did they like, I wonder if they did something to the despawn timers, because it, I swear to God, that has been on the floor for at many hours now. Probably a couple more turrets and we'll be uh, pretty safe. 
set to go things are looking up though things are looking up from here i'm stoked about this white man and we haven't even like raided yet i haven't even done anything yet i basically just walked around and built so as soon as it's time to raid oh buddy i'm gonna make three more turrets it's kind of hurts but i'm gonna just use all my bolts for it not all of them but most of them pains me The power is coming on. Slightly worried I'm not going to have enough length to reach. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that's hype. Dude, it's all coming together, man. Oh, this is awesome. I'm so stoked about this. I probably said that like a million times, but... Nice, dude. All right, we have power. Oh, I still have one more turret. Um, where should I put this one? Kind of surprised I remembered how to make wires. I honestly, I haven't set up a turret in, I think, months. It's been so long. The last time I remember doing any sort of piping or wiring was when I played against Spoon, which we're going to do again, by the way. We will be doing it very soon. Uh, we've just both been so busy, but... We're, we're going to do it again. But yeah, that's the last time I remember doing that, which is pretty funny. I got to spray paint the whole base, man. I'm trying to get everything white. So it looks like one of those like house tours on YouTube. But I don't think there's any faster way to do this. I think it's literally like I just have to sit here and respray everything. So that's what I'm doing. I wonder if it gives you an advantage if you have like the whiteout kit, you know, that's kind of what I'm experimenting with sort of probably does the opposite but it's fine i've built kowloon walled city in rust not really but we have large furnaces made look at that so beautiful alley of furnaces very artisan uh the base is nearly finished i just gotta finish up some of the upper floors here i'm cooking some of the sulfur and uh, i just farmed a bunch of metal just so that I have upkeep. Uh, I'm gonna just make this into like bedroom up here and maybe some extra loot. Uh, this is the shooting floor. I still gotta add embrasures on it, but we have a nice roof here, a very nice roof. Um, we have turrets on it, everything. So we are chilling out. It is beautiful. The base is getting done. So I think what I'm gonna do is I could do one of two things. I can either farm up some sulfur right now. There's a lot of sulfur near my base and I still have those pure Ortiz actually. Or I really want to look for that tugboat. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I am going to take the mini. I'm going to craft a bunch of torpedoes. I'm going to probably use like a lot of my pipes and see if I can find a tugboat, but specifically the tugboat. I have a funny feeling that these guys are parking these tugboats like way out into the ocean. I think that's what's going on. If that's the case, they're probably really loaded, like extremely loaded tugboats. Let's see how much of a dent this does to our, uh... oh, I don't have the BP. I forgot about that. You know what though? I might have enough just in terms of, didn't I have a regular rocket in one of these? One of these had a rocket in it. Which one was it? There we go. This is what we'll do. We're going to fly around. We're going to look for, uh... we're going to look for a little something, something, a little torpedo or something to raid. Uh, and if we can't find one, we will use what we have currently on us to raid a base. That's the plan. Because I'm pretty sure that like one C4, one rocket, and however much expo ammo I have, or I'm going to be able to have, should be enough to break an armored single door, which will be good enough to raid a tugboat if I can find one, because I think I'm going to have trouble finding them. So that'll be the plan. Jesus, that was long-winded, but pretty good stuff. We'll see. And if it's not enough, we can always come back and get more, because we're cooking up. I don't have Expo MO BP either. Uh, jeez. Um, I could probably make like three more rockets. Yeah, we'll just do that. Three more rockets. All right. Simple. Problem solved. I'm an idiot. All right. 
I have the three rockets crafting. Let me grab, I'm gonna grab like a lot of, I'm gonna grab like a billion low grade. That's what we're gonna do. Because we might be flying for a little while. I have no idea how to look for these tugboats, but I'm hoping I can find the one I'm searching for or one that is equally as loaded or loaded looking, I guess. I don't know. We also might have enough to just raid something in general as well. So if there's a loaded looking base or something, could always raid that too. What do we got going on here? Hold up. Tom's Tea Shop. I don't know. This looks kind of raided. But yeah, this is definitely, I think, raided. Definitely. This might be Tea Guy Tom's, actually. This kind of looks like a bunker I've seen him build before. Damn, wait, there's actually still kind of stuff in here. What's with these people raiding these bases and, like, leaving stuff in them? Are these guys just, like, that loaded that they're just leaving stuff around? Sounds like a good deal to me. That's definitely not the tugboat we're looking for. Keep on keeping around here. Keep looking around. I'm just literally gonna circumnavigate the rust map. That's actually a question I have. Is, is the rust map flat or a circle? You know what I'm saying? It's a big question we need answered here. Big question we need answered. Decaying juicer, hold up. Oh, this is about to be insane. Crazy. He's using a blaze bow. Respect. Most loaded blazed viewer base right here. Ah, uh, jeez. Blazers, you gotta step it up. I'm a little tempted about that, like, metal water base we saw earlier. That has me curious. We could always look for something in the snow, too. Thing is, I just don't really have any enemies on the server at the moment. No pressing enemies or issues, which I guess is a good problem to have. Or, yeah, I mean, yeah. Good problem to have, sort of. I'm seeing like a concerning amount of raided bases. It just looks like everything is raided. I think I'm gonna wake up raided tomorrow. I'm gonna try not to. I am playing on like a really screwed up sleep schedule. So I'm thinking maybe we could uh, survive the night. Here's this guy's metal base. I'm telling you, man, I just have a weird, funny feeling. I think this thing's gonna be, like, stupid loaded. I mean, it's now it's got electricity on it. Oh, it's- never mind, it's decaying. Alright, yeah, this is not gonna be loaded. I take that back. I'm gonna take that right back. You know, I could finish that raid that I countered earlier. Like, in the- you know, in the beginning- oh. No, that doesn't- that's not the boat. 100% that's not the boat. Doesn't have an armored door. Yeah, I could finish the raid if it hasn't already been finished. I'm assuming it must have been finished, but I could go look. Can't hurt. You know what? I'm gonna do it. And and I still don't... So, like, did, they must have changed the loot despawn bag timers. I had no idea. Because things are not despawning on this server. This is official vanilla rust. Like, these bags have to have been here for... Like five or six hours now. All right, moment of truth. We got TC, everything is locked. Every single thing is locked. Okay, oh, good thing I brought a jackhammer. I need to try and get a door on this as quickly as I can. Uh-oh, that's a really bad sign. In the main loot. Come on, man. Oh God. It's a bad sign. These are all bad signs. It's a decent sign, actually. I think before I do anything, let me just break this TC. Oh, God. Okay. Um, Jesus. All right. I have a bad feeling here. I'm hoping this pays off, man. Maybe there's a reason why these guys just left that I don't know about. Tell you what, this raid isn't feeling too good so far. All right, now we're safe. Please give me some boom, man. This guy is an undercover sulfur farmer. Okay, that's a lot of comps, actually. That's pretty insane. About uh, these. Okay, good sign. Please, man. Please. Give me profit. Interesting. Me 
me go there. Okay. Uh, huh. I mean, metal's fantastic. Everything else is not. I mean, actually, the comps are kind of nuts, too, but makes me wonder if he's hiding his boom somewhere else or maybe these guys just got the boom and left maybe that's what happened there was boxes here they got the boom and they just left that would kind of make sense i think that has to have been what happened i'm just gonna take what i can and i think i'm gonna bounce i don't know i'm a little weirded out by this one but i do still definitely definitely have enough to raid a uh like a little snow base near me or something 100 percent so Take all the metal. What else is really here to take? I want to keep a jackhammer. Guns. Take a chainsaw for sure. I mean... Oh yeah, the tech trash and shit. Yeah. Okay, I could throw this metal out. The pipes, I'm definitely gonna want. Alright, that's pretty solid. I think we're good. Alrighty. Well, I'd, I'd label that a win, I guess. Bit of a close call there. Um, try that again. Fan? Okay. No fan. Oh, locker. I need that. I need that so bad. Actually, I think I have that BP now, but... Alrighty. Let's go back home. I think when it turns daytime, I'll raid one of the 2x2s that are near me. There's a couple 2x2s near me that are, uh, like, perfectly in the snow. All right. Good morning. Let's go raid a base nearby. See what uh see what we can get up to. My goal for tonight is just to finish the base completely. Get it all finished up, looking nice, looking menacing, I guess, and then we're good. But uh I have a feeling it's already 4 a.m. I'm probably just gonna stay up like all night. So check out some of these bases here. So you have like these bases that are hidden. I'm calling it now. I think this two by two, although it is a solo. But you have, like, some of these, like, stone bases that are definitely just probably loaded, I think. What do we got here? Sleepy little fellow. Same. Yeah, I just think there's going to be a base in the snow that's going to be, like, super stacked. And I'm interested in that. Because I kind of wasted... Well, I don't know. I don't know if I'd call that a waste. I used my rockets on a base that maybe was or wasn't a great idea. Let's just put it that way. I'm gonna fly around the snow just for a sec. I'm also interested to see if I could catch another guy farming again. See if I could find like a base that, you know, sticks out to me. This is interesting. What do we got here? This could be something actually. Code locked, but it has wood on it. Hmm. Oh. I don't think it's anything. Oh, what about that iceberg base? I don't think it had turrets on it. I mean, the question is, I have enough for one, two, like three-ish doors, but I could definitely go craft more. I have enough to craft more, so I could probably craft enough for like four or five doors. And I have a feeling that that iceberg base is going to be stacked, probably. Oh, what do we got here? Something? Oh, there was something here. This iceberg base could be the move, because yeah, see, it looks kind of unfinished too, which is good. It does have garage doors, though. I hate to flip-flop, but I'm tempted to raid some of those bases near me. I think I'm gonna do it. I say we start with that, and hopefully we can snowball a raid into something a bit bigger. But let's just start with something that we know we can raid, and go from there. I think I'm gonna raid this 2x2. Two two. This 2x2 two two seems the most promising to me, because it's a 2x2, two two, and it can hold more, I guess. It's just so hidden, I'm telling you. I think this might be... Might be like a stash base or something. This like, if this is loaded, this is some Rust Academy shit right here. I mean, this whole wipe's been some Rust Academy shit, I swear. Okay, another door. That's good news, probably. Uh tier three. Okay. Um <laughs> this is bizarre. I guess I should try and blow into, uh, into that. I gotta go craft some more real quick, but this is, like, weird. I don't, this is, 
this is really weird. I think this will be probably loaded. Most likely, this is going to be some money. Let me just go craft up a little bit more expo ammo and come right back here, I guess. I That's weird. I don't know what that is. Okay, well, not exactly uh loaded, but not not loaded. You feel me? I might just try and raid all of these things in the surrounding area, honestly. When a base is on the edge of the snow like that, it's usually pretty loaded. Like, kind of like mine, actually. Mine just happens to be loaded with not sulfur and boom, but everything else. Dude, I'm getting too much loot, except boom, but too much of everything else. I think it's 150 expo ammo for a garage door, so I should just have enough to craft. Oh, I don't have the BP though. Let's see, any spare scrap? Uh huh. Good thing I have some on me. I almost forgot about that. All right, Dolly's brain increases every second 38 times 2 yeah this should be enough just throw this in here for now we'll go run over and uh get it cracking it's like some weird amount of like i don't that it feels to me like that's like decay base loot or something doesn't seem like loot that's been gotten like the workbench is damaged so it's been picked up and just that <laughs> that loot spread is honestly just funny i don't know what that it's like it's good, it's just not that good. It's funny. I, I'm hoping the garage door leads us to brighter things here. Just a really bizarre spread of loot. Huh. <laughs> I... I honestly... have no idea what this loot even is i mean it certainly wasn't really bad but this is weird i don't know probably the weirdest loot spread i think i've ever seen but actually pretty solid okay well i definitely think i should try raiding a couple of these other bases around here maybe he spread out his loot either way that was pretty good. It wasn't profit sulfur wise, but like raid like that thing and stuff. I don't know. Maybe that other furnace looking base up there. A lot of turret guns, couple bolts, few AKs. A lot of low grade actually, like a thousand low grade, couple hundred high qual. We'll take it. Certainly not a bad haul. All good stuff. All, you know, I wouldn't call them necessities, but eh, no, you know, all, all the basics. It's just a bunch of basics. We're getting so juiced up on the basics, man. When we get some rockets, I'm going to go on an absolute tear on this server. All right, let me make a couple mixing tables here and cook up some more sulfur. Aim for that two by one that had a code lock on it. Could be loaded. Oh, heli's out. Let's see where heli spawns. Come on, please give me a good heli spawn for once. Ooh, bottom right's not bad. I could probably take it from that supermarket. Or this one. Yeah, we need to take Heli, 100%. We need to take it really bad. So we are gonna go do that. I'm gonna just go grab the M2, grab whatever meds I have and an L9 and go. Yeah, if we can take Heli and we get good RNG on that, oh boy, we'll be chilling. Chilling big time. I'm gonna take it from this supermarket here. Bagged it. It is coming right over. Oh god, I don't want to lose this mini. Actually landed in a decent ish spot actually landed in a really good spot but I don't have any ammo and I'm low on meds it is late at night so I doubt I'll get countered but I guess you never know I hope that this guy isn't on that'd be kind of funny this guy's online like, who's taking heli oh my god he's got turrets I might just chill up on top of his base even if I that way if I die I doubt I'll get looted I mean, I have such a good sight line over everything. We're chilling. I'm hoping we get a good heli here, man. I'm hoping it's like 
at least four crates C4 rockets. Don't think it's too much to ask for. The crates are starting to go out. It's time to risk it. Hopefully we don't lose the mini and the gear set and the M2, literally everything else. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey, come on, one more. All right, all right. I didn't say one more of what? I wanted one more, wanted one more Thompson. You know what though? We'll take it. Cause now we could just go raid that two by one. We don't have to like craft up and farm. But you know what? We basically get a free raid off of that. And you know, we also almost get a free Bradley too. So we'll take it. Can't complain. All right, here we are. Small raid number two. Okay. <laughs> Oops. All right, guys. Um, look, I don't even have anything to say to that. Hon honestly, I have nothing. <clears throat> now what? They can't all be winners. It's all right. We'll get them on the next one. The next one hits closer to home than we might think. Because I literally only saw it as I was flying over here. I didn't say anything because I was kind of in like bot mode. But take a look at this. This one is going to be loaded. This right here. Okay. Actually, I take that back. Farm base. Look at that. It was loaded. It's up, boy. I'll just cook up one more rocket and we'll go raid the circle base. And then that's the last base. That's the last small base around here that we're going to raid for now. I love having a compound, dude. I love it. It's so nice. I forgot how nice it was to have a compound and honestly, just a base in general. All right, let me just cook up one more rocket. We'll be good to go. All right. I've cooked up four rockets. Let's go do the final small raid of the night. And then if this doesn't hit, I will just probably do some farming, finish up the base. We'll raid something large, maybe tomorrow. Well, definitely tomorrow, but I'm just, I'm worried I'm going to get offline, man. Oh, jeez. I'm worried I'm going to get offline. This is the worst part about playing solo. It's like getting offline is so easy, but it's kind of, hate to say it, it's part of, yeah, well, it's definitely part of the game. It's part of playing solo. It happens. But this wipe's just been going so good. I don't want this to be like a short wipe. I want this to be like a long wipe. Judging by the comments, you guys do too. You guys tend to like the longer videos as well. So I appreciate it. Thank you guys. This is the base that kind of caught my attention a little bit. I think it's a furnace base. I think it's, uh, yeah, I can see the door frames through the wall. But that's actually a really good sign. So if this is the front door, hmm. I don't think we're going to go wrong with either of these. I think we just do it. I mean, you could definitely go wrong, but I guess we'll see. Tier three, no shot. Uh, what? Dude, what are these bases? They're just all full of AK kits, bro. Okay, TC's gonna be back there for sure. Ragnar. Okay, well, it looks like I gotta cook up a little bit more. Thousand GP. Oh. Furnace full of metal. Um, well, it looks like I gotta cook up a little more. Fern. Because, uh, we're gonna definitely want to blow into that other loot room. Another pure ore tea, bro. Everybody is carrying around fucking AKs on the server and pure ore teas. This is the weirdest shit I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen as many people roaming or, like, having pure ore teas. You know what I mean? Like, I've never seen this before. Everybody has AKs and ore teas. It's bizarre. I, I don't understand. And no boom, apparently. Yet. Yet. But let's cook up three more rockets really fast here. Or I, maybe I could just cook up some expo ammo with this uh, gunpowder. Might be a little bit faster. Guys, I'm trying to keep this base organized. Like, desperately, I'm trying. But it's not working too good at all. This is the dump box, though. These can be unorganized. It's all right. All right, let's go back there. I mean, these are good raids so far. They're just full of weird loot. You know what? I'd be willing to bet that this furnace base is the same base as the other 2x2 two two that we raided, like right down the hill from it. That's also loaded. It's probably the same guy. It must be because, um, yeah, it's pretty absurdly loaded, but it's just 
weird loot. Like, I can't even explain it. It's just weird loot. I don't really get it. I feel kind of bad for raiding a solo, but I guess it is what it is. It's gonna happen to me. Please be loaded. I need that juicy, juicy box of rockets here. Jeez. I'm out. Wood? Ooh. Okay. That's... That's really good, actually. I think that is probably profit. I, I'm not sure. Alright, let me run this back to base. Damn. Alright, not bad. Also, I noticed... or right, that must be the airlock. So that's the TC. So yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. I'm gonna just run a couple loot trips back and forth. But yeah, that's... That's looking... That's looking nice, dude. Not too bad, man. I'm really surprised. I mean, I don't know. These bases are all, I think it's just because it's, it's not like super late into wipe, but we're about like one third ish, maybe about halfway through with the wipe cycle. I don't even, I, honestly, guys, I don't know what day it is anymore, but I think it's about like one third. So it's kind of at that point where the clan bases have just started decaying. And I guess like, you know, people are able to like make two by twos and get a little bit of loaded. It's also by launch too. That's probably why they have AKs. Like they're right next to launch. But damn, dude, that's not a bad haul at all, man. I'm super happy with that. Three lines of sulfur for free, too. Or, well, sort of for free. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. I'm really glad this one ended up being profit. That was... That's good. That's good. We'll, we'll take it. Oh, I should check for stashes, too, huh? Sometimes the base owners in bases like this will make stashes. And they put stashes, like, you know, in the open spot. But it doesn't look like that's what's happening here. Nope. No stashes. I just can't help but feel like there's more loot in here for certain. Maybe not in here, but this base still feels kind of empty. Like, there's no components. I guess there was some components in that base. And, and yeah, he was using the same skin as well. That garage door skin was the same exact skin that was in this 2x2 two two down here. That right there. So... Actually, yeah, definitely, probably, same guy living out of that. Honestly, guys, I hate to be that guy, but I'm having so much fun raiding these little, like, bases right now. It's really fun. I don't know. It's very addicting. I just feel like we're on the verge of something big. Something, like, crazy. Something loaded. All right. So, I've crafted up... As much boom as I can, we're kind of really low on charcoal. It's kind of a problem. And we have 12 MLRS rockets. And I want to try and raid that iceberg base to end off our day today. I think that's a good way to end it. It is currently almost 6 in the morning, so I'm a little bit, a little bit loopy. Uh, so I'm just going to craft up as much boom as I can with this. And then um, I'm going to try and MLRS that... The iceberg base see what kind of damage it does and just raid from there so hopefully uh you know hopefully things go all right i guess i guess we'll find out any moment but for now i gotta keep crafting all right i actually uh just got back from getting some food nice little egg burrito in me what no, not in me in my stomach i don't man i ate a nice little egg burrito this is what we've cooked up we have three six nine twelve thirteen rockets some expo ammo and 12 MLRS. I'm hoping and praying and shitting that this is enough to raid this iceberg. I think it will be probably. Uh, we just have to give it some time, I guess. We have to give it some time and see if, you know, if we can make it work. I'm going to go mark the base right now and launch the MLRS and just get started. I think I don't see... There being any time to waste uh there was someone outside while i was eating there was someone outside like building and running around yeah i'm assuming i'm gonna get offline but i mean i guess we'll see either way there's an iceberg that needs to be raided someone's got to do the job and it's gonna be me oh dude i think they've been on they've definitely been on since i last came here because i don't think there was doors up here like this and that tugboat also wasn't here so they've definitely been online which is interesting to say the least i kind of just want to blow in if i'm being absolutely honest i get a good marker here 
And let me look at the floor. So it seems like they're actually online. Which, uh, despawn, haha, lol. I doubt that. Um, the whole outside of it is stone. So I actually think it could be a pretty cheap raid. I just got to go over there quickly. Because I, I worry that by the time I launch the MLRS and get over there, he could seal. So we'll just be quick. Well, a nice little online raid maybe to uh, finish this day off. It's not too bad. All right. Here we go. Something tells me I'm probably going to lose because, you know, I'm solo. And online raiding as a solo is like impossible but we're gonna try it anyways because it sounds fun so shall we begin uh i don't know if i have enough rockets uh maybe with the mlrs i might but i have no idea it's kind of kind of risky but i like it i live life on the edge either way that means if i get offline the raiders get like no boom so it's kind of a win-win well it'd be a lose win but a lose win is still not bad all right here goes nothing I'm hoping this goes well. I, re I really, you know, I really actually am. I raided P1 and they despawned everything. Who did that? That's what this guy... That's what this guy's saying in chat. But I'm not buying it because they literally just put doors on. Like, those doors weren't there. But a minute ago. So I'm not buying it at all. I think this guy in chat is trying to like cover his ass. I don't know. It's seven in the morning. I uh, kind of want to go to bed. Solid marker. All right. There goes nothing. I definitely think that guy is trying to. He knows something's about to come hit him. And uh, he's trying to cover himself up. But uh, we'll see. I don't know. This is kind of risky, but. That sign, by the way, that despawn sign has been there this whole time. I saw it when I first checked out the base, too. I didn't go down and look at the sign, but the sign was there. So, you know, I don't know. There's some funny business going on for sure. I'm going to risk it. I'm, you know, he's online, but screw it. There was probably some better targets to choose from. I'm kind of having, like, second thoughts. I'm having big time second thoughts right now. Well, uh... We'll see. Hopefully we don't die instantly. Should have uh, maybe brought some walls with me. I feel like that would have been smart. I'm also low on meds. I got four meds. Like, what am I doing? It's all right. It's all right. It's fine. Now or never, baby. Hopefully I don't just get lasered off of the heli. It looks like we did a good amount of damage. Oh, fuck me. I'm just going to go through the bottom doors. They're above me for sure. I had to rocket PvP him. I CTC. Killed him too. Okay. I had no bullets in my gun. What? How did I just flub that? I ha what happened to all my ammo? I guess I killed him and I didn't even realize that I didn't reload. I was so nervous. Damn, dude. No shot. Well, good thing it actually kind of forgot we had so many guns. I mean, the sulfur is kind of a big loss, but you know what? Everything else is not bad. We're still doing all right. I GG's them in chat. Damn, so close. So close. Well, I'm going to probably shut everything up. Shut all the doors and go to bed. I'm uh, pretty tired. It's been about seven, eight hours today. But I want to give you a little loot tour before I get off. This is our wood box. Metal box looking good. Uh, miscellaneous. We got our comps box is insane. We are ready for tomorrow. Like no other. Ready to conquer. Guns box one. 
guns box too boom box not looking too hot armor pretty solid ammo tc and this full base also lockers ready to go you love it i can't believe i ran out there with no bullets in my gun it's kind of funny you know what it's fine i'm gonna get my revenge i'm gonna make it my mission to raid those guys and we got a full base which is very nice though so i'm hoping and praying that we don't get raided today tonight today today i guess because i'm about to sleep and uh, we could get back on probably gonna have to do a lot of farming so we'll get back on do some farming and uh raid those guys on the iceberg all right everybody good night for now i'll see you on day two or whatever it's just gonna i'll be in one video so i'll you know editor cut editor cut hello guys i just woke up it is day two moment of truth boom we are not raided all right it is time to acquire mass amounts of boom today it's gonna be a good day good stuff man not raided i'm very satisfied with this outcome yeah man not raided big dub alert yo all right so today our goal is to get some boom and uh do some fat raids fat solo raids incoming should be pretty good oh and heli literally just came out literally could not have been a better time come on tell me i gotta spawn for me i think i still have a mini where this heli spawn at top right oh my god it spawned literally for me all right we're gonna start off day two by taking heli a little worrying though i have like no ammo and have continued to have like no ammo I don't have 556 five, BP. There is no way I don't have 556 five, BP. Okay, we need to remedy this immediately. Uh oh. Okay, this is a problem. This is a really big problem. Dude, the... Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god. Flub alert. Massive, massive flub alert. Dude, whoa. Dude, it is... This is all going to shit so fast. Oh my god. This heli better be worth it, bruh. Oh my god, this cat. All I need to do is stall it for 20 more seconds. Stall. Stall. Come on. Okay. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. Okay. We're good now. Oh my god, man! Oh my god, what is going on? That is the weirdest heli take I've ever had in my life. Okay, well, uh, we're starting off day two with a banger. Heli just completely... Is that gonna break all my shit, though? Heli just falling in my compound. Okay, well, very interesting events here. Unplanned. My whole compound is open. Oh god. Uh my camper's busted. I gotta repair that. What a fucked up day. Did it break my turret? Oh no. Oh my god, dude. It like totaled everything. Oh jeez. Okay, well that can kind of wait. Actually, it looks like everything's gonna live. Every little thing should be alright. Uh what happened to the M2 though? Oh my god. I'm so cooked. Where'd that M2 go? What is happening? Stop burning my box, man. Oh. Uh. Did I put the M2 away? I guess I must have. Dude, every all my shit is on fire. Oh, there's the M2. Hello. I only see three boxes. One, two, three. Wait, there's a geared guy right here. He had an M2. Wait, Ragnar. Oh my god, that's the guy I raided, I think. 
Uh oh. It's the solo guy I think I raided last night. The guy in the furnace? He returns, dude. There's a fucking door in my base now, man. What? Oh. Yeah, we gotta get this ammo situation figured out. What is this? Like an advanced airlock? It's like one of those like Rainbow Six uh siege, like you know the shields you can put down, I think. I think. Oh my god, dude. Alright, first box. M2. Bad rockets. Come on, give me good rockets, please. Ah, pretty bad heli. Really bad heli, actually. It's alright. Now we just gotta make some general purpose repairs here before all my shit despawns. Yeah, what what a wacky uh what a wacky heli take. Whimsical heli take here. Well we got two extra M2s, I guess. Which we will happily take. Ragnar, dude, we gotta find his other bases. Dude, that guy is gonna fucking destroy me. Oh no. I could just tell that guy's a solo Chad with the loot he had in his base. You know what I mean? You know when you could just tell that someone is good at the game? I could tell that that guy's- oops, I could tell that that guy's good. And he's back too. Okay, it wasn't him, it was some other guy, dude. We got Hole Puncher 112 coming in. <clears throat> what is going on here? Bolt turret coming in clutch, though. Love to see it. Hmm. I think we're gonna have a bit of an issue. Um. Oh, dude, Heli just did us actually a huge solid, bro. What? Yeah. I was kind of second guessing myself because. Oh, man, that is perfect. When I was building this compound, I, I didn't mention it at all. I literally didn't say anything, but I was like, ah, oh, man, like, kind of wish I made a second exit to this big compound, because that's how you get door camped, because you only ever have, like, one exit, you know? And, uh, Heli actually just did us a pretty big solid there. Gave us another exit, we'll take it. That way, if we get raided, we stand a chance. If we get raided by... Uh-oh. Dude, I'm scared, man. Got this solo military after me. I'm telling you, that Ragnar guy or whatever is a Chad. I could literally, I could just tell. Just heli corpse in my base. God, dude. <laughs> Alright. Now we got another base exit. Pretty hype. Oh my god, dude. Just looked at the weather app on my computer. It's currently like 115 degrees right now. How's that even legal? That's wild. There we go. Nice. Very nice. I'm out here in the snow, farming it up. I heard an AK behind me. I'm gonna go see if I can find him. Uh, it sounded like it was like right around here. I'm hoping it's another sulfur farmer. Okay. It's not good. <laughs> Hi. Oh my god, it was another sulfur farmer. <sighs> no! No! Oh my god, that guy just got loaded for free. Oh my god, wow. What a good jump. Wow, good on him. Starting off the day with a bit of a brutal fumble. I'm gonna try and run back, but no shot I'll be able to recover anything. I still have all my sulfur in my car, so... Everything I've farmed is fine, but I do lose a kit. A two kits, actually. Shoot. Ah, oh well. Damn. Alright, well, it's good to know. There's definitely a base over here we should raid, for sure. Well, I got my kit back, but no other loot. Yeah, the sulfur is all gone. Did they take it out of my camper? They did not. All right, I need to repair this thing and get the fuck out of here. Bruh, this camper has seen some shit. All right, well, we didn't lose our original sulfur. We'll take it. That guy, the Ragnar guy, who I just killed, who also blew up my camper while I was dead on the respawn screen. Definitely has a base around there for sure. And I'm gonna find it, dude. I'm gonna fucking get revenge on that guy. 
It kind of sucks I lost the original sulfur bag, but it is what it is. You know what? I'm kind of just happy to get the camper back and uh, retain my original sulfur. I think I had like two or three lines of sulfur, which is pretty good. Not bad. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the hell. Like, they fucked up my car, man. You hurt my boy. Honestly, camper farming's pretty good, though. Being able to respawn like that gives you so many more options. It's kind of insane. About two lines of sulfur. We'll take it, not bad. Engine is looking messed up, dude. All right, let's just uh, get back inside here. All right, we got the sulfur inside. That's fine, we'll take it. We have some unfinished business, though. Ragnar, dude. We're gonna find him. All right, so two and a half lines of sulfur, almost. Let's replace these car parts. Let me actually learn them really quickly. Okay, Ragnar is getting raided. He just said, can you at least leave me some stuff? He says he's V8. I have a lot of sulfur on me, so we're not gonna, not gonna risk that. Ragnar says he lives in V8, so probably all looted and gone. Damn. Ragnar is having a rough wipe, man. I'm sorry. It's brutal. I think he just got raided off the server. Maybe I should just keep farming. I don't know. I mean, I guess I might as well give it a shot. Can't hurt to try and counter get some kits back, but uh, yeah. It ain't looking good for our boy Ragnar. All right, let me remember where I put this box. Funny box. Hopefully that uh, doesn't get looted. Feel kind of bad for this guy, man. He's getting bullied by these like guys. All right, you're getting raided. I don't want Ragnar to lose to these guys, dude. Anyone but these guys. Fuck them, man. All right, you're getting raided. I think what he was doing, he's holding for his friend. They're trying to bring back more boom. Oh shit. The guy was literally right there. Fuck, I didn't realize he was at his base. Yeah, I think they're trying to bring back more boom. So for that garage door. And you know what? I'm gonna consider this my my karmeric getting even with this guy. Cause I, I raided him last night before I got off. And uh it sounds like this is his only base that's left or something. So I'm gonna do my best to uh help defend his base. And uh maybe we could find where these guys live, the trade guy and then this other guy that he's friends with. We could find where they live and maybe hit a raid on them. Because they have a bunch of sulfur and they were farming sulfur. Maybe we, me, me and Ragnar could team up and raid these other guys. They definitely live in the snow for sure. I'm pretty confident they live over here somewhere by Stone Quarry. I just don't know where. But probably with a little bit of searching I can find out. Holy shit. Ragnar! Oh shit. Slight issue. Slight, slight issue. What are these fucking lag spikes I'm getting, man? Can you pick me up over here? Over here? Pick me up. Yeah, yeah. No, man, no, bro. Fuck. I hate these lag spikes I'm getting. I gotta just come in the camper. They're gonna raid him. Ah, oh, man, dude. Fuck. These lag spikes fucking suck, man. I can't, like... Man. It's brutal out here. 
I'll try and defend his base, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I hope so. I can't believe I didn't kill him when I sprayed with that initial spray, but then I lagged and I had to unpeak because I couldn't wall. I swear to God, guys. I, I swear, guys, I'm lagging. I need to, like, restart my game or something. I don't know. It's dying right now. Let's get back here in the camper. It's not really stocked properly, but we got to try and hit the defend anyways for the boy. Man, these guys are good players. Shit. All right. I just got to wait out my timer, I guess. Yo. Oh, no Ragnar. Yep, what's up? Oh, did he, did he seal? Did they raid it or no? No, he only brought one rocket for some reason. Okay, good. All right, look, I know I know we're beefing. I kind of raided like all your bases last night. Uh, <clears throat> my, my bad, but I'm down to, if you want to, no, good. if you want to team up against these guys, I, I don't like them either. It sounds good here. I'm going to come out. Yeah. Go. Here, I got some stuff. Oh, you don't got to do that. Are you sure about that? No, keep, keep I'll just keep one. Cause I, yeah. that's just what I lost. You, you keep those two. Do you know where those guys live at all? The faded guy and the um, trade guy? No, I'm not sure. Okay. Well, um, I'll take a look around and find out. Is this just your main base right now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was trying to build a base um, that direction. Uh, oh, like that wood one. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I live AB10. So if you yeah. need anything, come over and uh, you know say what's all right, up. All right. Do you want to hop in a team so we don't yeah, yeah. each other? Yeah, that's perfect. All right. All right. Steer around them. Thank you, man. Type to me if you need anything. Thank you. All right. Ragnar's actually a super right. chill guy. I had to restart my whole computer. I'm hoping that fixes these stupid lag spikes. So I saw them come from around here and I know that they have a mini. So, oh, I got to get my sulfur. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, that's really important, actually. At least I defended his base, even though I lost a kit, a little bit of stuff. We defended the Ragnar base. I'm down to uh, team up. Little, little friendship. I, I don't think this guy knows who I am. At least right now, he's super chill. Which makes it even more fun for me because I get to just kind of play with this guy. And he seems like a chill fellow. He's like a Chad solo. He gets pretty loaded and has like multiple bases. So it seems like he's a pretty decent player. I'm down to be friends with Ragnar. I'm glad he's sealed. I definitely think they were going to come back with more boom. And my stuff is still here. Awesome. Cool. Let's get that back. So we farmed like about a half a box of sulfur which is not too shabby but honestly i think i need a mini but then again the car farming is doing pretty good it's just a little bit slower it's a little bit safer though than the mini that's kind of the thing it's actually quite a bit safer and you get respawns too let me kit up this camper it's not really kitted up right now i think that's kind of a problem i feel so bad for raiding ragnar last night man he's so chill damn at least he's chill about it seems like a cool guy he wanted to give me three ak's but didn't accept that too much good stuff yeah the biggest thing i need right now is charcoal man charcoal has been brutal it's the problem when you have only large furnaces i guess it's kind of a good problem to have i'm getting pretty stacked up all right i'm gonna go on a little farm run and at the same time i'm gonna try and look for their base too i'm pretty sure they live in the snow but i don't know so they came from like the northwest direction they came from this way I think they live somewhere near Arctic Research, maybe. Mm, I think they live somewhere over here. Kind of makes sense. There's a base with a windmill right up here. Hmm. What is going on here? I have I have a funny feeling that they live there. I could be totally wrong, but I do think that that might be their base for sure. That or maybe that cave. If they live in a cave, though, and they built it well, it's kind of over. Because, uh... Yeah, raiding caves is, like, impossible, man. I mean, eh, it's not over. I shouldn't say it. It's never over until it's over, but that would not be good, to say the least. I'll go check the cave right now. I have other methods of uh, potentially griefing the cave, though. I think I just saw where he was. I do actually think they live in that cave, which is not good. If they live in that cave, oh no. I could probably start by TC griefing this cave though. They don't have it fully done, so could start with that. Alright, let's see what kind of cave we're dealing with here. Oh. Okay. Not the cave. Oh. Wait, what? 
Okay. So, well, they definitely don't live here. I wonder if they even went down here. Saw all this stuff. All right. We've determined they don't live in the cave, or at least this one, which is actually really good. Because, uh, <clears throat> look, if I'm being honest with you guys, I did not really feel like having to farm up hundreds of rockets to raid a cave. That's kind of, that's a bit out of the, out of the scope of things, sort of. It is, but it isn't. I think for now, we just stay on the grind, get some more sulfur and charcoal, get to it, I guess. All right, Ragnar's getting raided again. Oh, jeez. This... Oh, God. This wasn't exactly the time for him to get raided. Ah, okay. We gotta try and get over there. This car needs to go a little bit faster. It might be over for old man Ragnar. I feel like he's... Press... Pre, he's... What do you call it? What's the word, man? He's dedicated. God damn, dude. No, did Ragnar get off? Uh-oh. Alright, I'm about to blow this guy the fuck up. Hey, I'm here. It's me, it's me. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, fuck yeah, I just killed them all. They're all dead. We're good. I'm just gonna take uh, the kits if they're- the kit if that's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Take all your stuff. I'm gonna go sit up top on top of the hill and just cover for you. Okay. Just make sure you seal, though. I have a camper. I'm gonna bag you in it. Dude, he spawned in literally at the, like, perfect second otherwise i would have rocketed him i i thought the guy lived my hv rocket i was like what these guys are beefing with ragnar man the hell? poor ragnar is just getting bullied i feel bad for him dude that hv rocket came in clutch man i'm not gonna lie i'm not fucking around these guys are pretty good players man so i had to grab the rocket i don't know i wasn't i wasn't confident in myself i'm not playing too hot today to be honest ragnar is probably really loaded <laughs> Like, he's probably got so much loot in there. I didn't even check his boxes. I feel like that'd be kind of weird. I'm kind of curious, though. I just want to know how much loot he's got. I'm a loot goblin. I can't help myself. Well, we ended up uh, getting 2C4 off of that. I'll take it. And we made it back to base with the sulfur, which is great. I'll take it. Getting two stacked for my own good. All right, he said they came from the southwest. So maybe they live in the middle of the map. I have a bad feeling that they're probably going to try and raid Ragnar again. Yo, you got a repair... <clears throat> Excuse me, you got a repair bench per chance? Some wood if you need. Uh, I can go make you one. Yeah, that'd be awesome. This guy's so chill, man. I like this guy. Yeah, I could go make you one. I like this guy, man. I can't believe I raided him. It had to be done. So he says they came from directly southwest this time. Yeah, these guys are like professional bamboozlers. I think they live pretty far away. Otherwise, they'd be coming back more frequently. You just throw it down anywhere. It doesn't matter. Thanks. I, uh, my car parts all broke, but more importantly, you know, gotta, gotta take care of business. You got some raid targets in mind? Who are you farming up for? I was just gonna raid anyone, but now I want to fucking raid these guys. Because they killed me with like a lot of sulfur earlier. When you came and blew up my car, they had like a probably two inventories of sulfur. Uh, now, so I want to raid these guys, but wow. no one in specific. Uh, I'm just kind of stacking right now, I guess. Yeah, this is the second time that I've been out farming, literally like down in this valley, valley, and they come me in. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Well, you're more than welcome to move uh, near me if you want. Like I said, I live AB10. Pretty, uh, pre <laughs> pretty peaceful yeah, out there. Move somewhere. Yeah, it's peaceful out there when I'm not raiding you. I'm sorry. You said you uh, wanted the other gear set. Right? Oh, no, no, you keep it. You keep it. It's all yours. I don't need it. You sure? Yeah, I'm just kind of low on hoodies and pants. That's uh, in kilts. That's I got everything else. It's kind of a weird predicament. 
Need hoodies and pants. Ah, oh, go, man. Thank you so much. Pro shit. Thanks, bro. Hey, let me know if uh, they come back. I'll, I'll be able to assist. Woo! Let's go. Hey, I'm glad we saved Ragnar's base. I could have betrayed him. I could have backstabbed him there, but you know you can't do that. That one, that would have been wrong. And we actually, uh, we, we actually ended up pretty wealthy off of that, too. I mean, sort of pales in comparison to the loot I have now, but it's still pretty good. Yeah. Kind of forgot I was supposed to be farming. He's logged out right here. Please tell me he's loaded. He ain't loaded. Back to farming. All right. <clears throat> Heli just came out. Oh, fuck. I'm going to go for Heli. Oh, my God. If I don't blow up my car first, dude. Problem is, it's a pretty bad spawn. Dude, Heli is, like, bugged on the bottom of the map. I don't even get that. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, also, sorry, I, I'm kind of spacing out. Uh, it's probably not going to get included because it's too much for the editor to sift through. But um, I saw those guys, the guys who I got my start from yesterday, who I countered their raid. That tugboat is their entire base. Someone was like, where do you live? And they said, we live on the water, winky face. Which to me sounds like that tugboat is their base. So I think I'm going to spend literally all night looking for that tugboat until I could find it, and then I'm gonna sub rate it. Because, yeah, they literally said, in the water, winky face. So, there's some funny business going on, and, and the reason why I bring that up is because this heli is, like, I've never seen a heli patrol, like, oils before like this. There we go, it's fun. Oh, it got tagged. Damn. All right. Well, I've never seen a heli do that before, so I have a feeling that, uh, they are actually doing like a full tugboat wipe. So I'm gonna see if I could uh, intercept that with the sub or something. All right, I just got back from getting some breakfast. It is currently 7.40 at night and I finally ate for the day. But more importantly, more important than real life responsibilities, this is how much sulfur we got. I think there's actually still a little bit cooking. We have probably just around a box total but our problem is this is all the charcoal we have that is not acceptable we got to fix this we need charcoal and i don't know how to get it i kind of want to double back and raid the guys at p1 again well not again but try and you know try and actually win this time so i kind of want to double back and try and raid them if they're not already but i think first order business is to get a mini copter uh, because I've just been using the camper all day and it's nice, but it's not really practical for, you know, a couple things. So I'm going to get a mini and I'll go check out that iceberg and see if it's still there and if it got raided or not. Hopefully it did not get raided though. Boom, we got our mini. Let's go. All right, let me go check out the iceberg before it turns night. From there, I will make a decision and see if either we can raid them or maybe not. I have a bit of a fear that they despawned after I tried to raid last night. Hopefully not, but I guess we'll see. I could probably take a Bradley too and get some MLRS. That'd probably be really nice, actually. Let's see if they upgraded since last night. Oh, wow. Full compound. I know where their TC is. So... See if uh, Ragnar wants to come raid. He seems chill. I think he's trustworthy. I don't think he'll screw me over. I hope not, man. I hope not. I did. I literally raided this guy. He says he has 8,000 charcoal for me, which would actually be huge. Huge if true. Oh, wait. This guy's a farmer. This guy is 100 million percent farming right now. Oh. I thought I almost fucked that up. I wanted to laugh at him for just standing still. I, I don't know why he like tabbed out or something. Please have sulfur. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Is the guy just... 
Gave your boy his mini and chip back yesterday. What are you talking about? What was it me? You know this guy is livid though. Oh my god, dude. What a fat L. I'm gonna just take the soul for and get out of here. Yo, you wanna just hop in and I'll fly you to my base real quick? I just killed this guy and he's full of sulfur and shit. Yeah, you wanna raid uh you wanna raid the iceberg in the morning? Sure. Cool. I tried uh onlining them last night and I failed. Um so I know where their TC is and stuff. It honestly might only be like a few rockets. Thank you so much. All right, let me fly you right back and uh, I'll just get crafting after and uh, I'll just message when it's time. Need more boxes in the compound. It's a good problem to have. How long have you been on this way? Uh, two days. Oh, wow. So not too bad. I, I, start, I started yesterday. This is my day second, uh, second M25. Hold on. That, that guy that I just killed is uh, the guy I just killed with a bunch of sulfur. I don't think they're very happy that I'm trying to trying to remember what Spanish I could remember and they don't sound happy. All right. I'll message you when it's ready. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Uh, I think the guy I just killed in chat is not happy that I killed him with a bunch of stuff. I mean, understandably, but that guy was irresponsibly loaded. Nice. Looks like we got the rest of it. A lot of metal. All right. Let me go back to base. I'm going to make as much as I can, but I'm hoping for like 10 to 12 rockets. And hopefully when it turns morning, we can just go raid. And uh, I have a feeling they're going to be pretty loaded. So we'll see. I'm going to double check my recording though and see if the TC was honeycombed or not. I'm surprised they didn't upgrade at all last night. You think they would like high qual their TC at least, you know, but uh, apparently not. So I'm going to double check and make sure that their TC wasn't honeycombed in. And we should be good. All right, guys. I've crafted up 12 rockets. I forgot I had two C4. And I'm making some more expo ammo. We're going to go give it a round two. Uh, honestly, I didn't check the recording at all. So I don't know. I was talking to a uh, Spoon Kid Dinkbot. And well, I wasn't talking with Lucky Llama. I was talking to Lucky Llama. So uh, I didn't I didn't check the recordings. Um, I'm assuming that there was no honeycomb or anything. And... I have no idea if they're online or not. I mean, their base is clearly upgraded since last time or, you know, since earlier. I, I say last night. I raided them like a few hours ago. I just didn't sleep. I don't know. These solo wipes got me fucked up. I say that as this guy who's on my team UI jumps in my thing. Look, I think it's okay. Maybe we don't call this solo. Maybe we call it like one and a half type of deal. Uh, but regardless, I like this guy. I, this Ragnar fella is it's chill. I like him. So, uh, you know what? Call it a one and a half player wipe. You know what I'm saying? I'm the half. Ragnar makes me whole. So inspirational. Hashtag nature. I'm going to just go over there. I don't know. I'm going to just land. Fuck it. See what happens. Raid the iceberg. I hope they don't have turrets though. I don't think they do. How long ago were these planted? Oh, planted 12 hours ago. I think we're good. Okay, so the TC, I think it was this. So I'm going to blow right here. I think this is TC. I don't remember. I'm embarrassing myself in front of my friends. I really hope this guy doesn't backstab me. It would be tragic. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. I don't remember it being honeycombed, but I guess it was honeycombed. So TC must be over here. Yeah, I think it's like a bait because I don't know. I'm 99% sure it's a bait. Um, <clears throat> good, good sign so far. The good sign so far. This is how it was yesterday. I swear. I just want to get TC at least. Then I could just eco raid up. Oh God, man. Okay. This is a big issue. Oh. Wait, we're, we're in luck, sort of. 
Oh, uh, here we go. Um, <clears throat> not much loot. So I, I was kind of close. Okay. Well, we could put our own doors on. Crafting uh, code locks. So I think up here is a loot room because they didn't armor the floor, but they armored the floor everywhere else. Uh, maybe I think they're doing like some open core mumbo jumbo. Yeah, these guys definitely didn't despawn everything. We know that. I have a little bit of expo ammo, but not much other than that. But I, I could just go take the charcoal. Uh, I could just go take the charcoal that was in there and go craft some more. Yeah, I mean, they have, like, mixing tables up here, so... They definitely have boom somewhere. I think it's in that floor above. We could also pick into it. There was a stone. Yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna do. I'll just come back. I have a tier... I have a workbench and base, and, uh... We could just pick in, yeah. Because I'm, like, 99% sure that leads up there. I'm just gonna fly back with the charcoal. Do you just want to hang here for now until I come back? Okay, here. I got the charcoal. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna just make sure they can't get back in just in case. Okay, I will be right back with a workbench, uh, some jackhammers, and uh, uh, some more boom. All right. I think it's safe to say that Ragnar passes the uh, the trust test. Hopefully these guys are loaded, man. I'm really, really hoping. Really hoping. Guess we'll see. Worst case scenario, we're back to farming sulfur, and uh, we'll just come to this island, because apparently it's loaded. What up? Hello. Here you go. I only had three, I'm sorry. Woohoo! There, there we go. I mean, we'll take it. It saves us from picking a little bit. But a uh, slight problem. I, I, I depoted the rocket launcher. <laughs> but we have enough to get through. You want to go up this? Because we, we could just blow this garage door since we're probably going to have to anyways to get the rest of their loot. So we'll, we'll get it either way. Yeah, I'm going to show you a little trick. <laughs> okay, the trick failed, but I still threw like a hundred. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, dude, profit. That's got to be profit. Holy. That's pretty solid. Um, is there any high qual in here? I could just make a wire tool and disconnect these real quick. I got a wire tool. We're good. Okay, pro tip. I guess you could reach the uh, cables through the doors. All right, well, I guess I'll go depot real quick. Take. Do you want a depot? You take whatever you need. I'm just going to take some of the GP and uh, maybe some metal for upkeep. That was definitely profit, for sure. I mean, I'll, I'll just bring the boom to your base, because I'm not going to... You're not going to what, sorry? I'm not, not going to use boom, so I'll just bring it to your base. Okay, cool, sounds good. All right, uh, we'll just go make a run, and I'll, I'll go get the rocket launcher. Uh, and then we'll just blow into the rest. Easy. Easy big win. Wait, they have a tugboat. Yeah, I saw that. You want to raid into that next? I don't know what language that is, but the guy that just typed in chat, those guys have a tugboat. I think they're doing like a tug. I, I saw, it's like elusive. It's a rare Pokemon. I saw it one time. They're doing like a tugboat wipe. Like they're living on this fully fucking armored tugboat. It's got everything on it. And I've been looking for it. I looked for it all last night and I can't find it. So I'm thinking we should try and find that tugboat and raid it, but it might be a little difficult. Just yapping this poor guy's ear off. It is like an elusive Pokemon, though. Actually, the fact that they're online right now means that it's really good. Because the tugboat's probably going to be along the coast. Here, we could probably just depot in this little 2 by one because the turrets are hardwired. Because I'm an idiot. It's my little flank base. There we go. I think one of the few things I don't have in here is a launcher, so I'll, I'll go run to the other base real quick and grab a launcher and we're ready to go. Sorry. <laughs> this guy is so chill, man. I'm trying to figure out, I mean, my, my ultimate goal for the wipe is to find and raid that tugboat, but 
I just don't know how to find it. Like, that's gonna take so long to find. I don't even know where to start looking. Is there a launcher in here? No launcher. No launcher in the outside boxes. Shame. We're getting pretty yoked, though, which is very nice. That was a lot of GP. That was definitely profit, for sure. This guy's gotta be a knower. This guy's gotta be a knower solely because of that move. I respect it though. He he hasn't said anything. He's not called me by Blaze. I don't know, man. I can't tell if this guy's a knower or not. I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble. I respect it either way. This guy's super chill. I like this guy. Good fella. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can see what they're filtering. So there's going to be charcoal and low grade in there, I think. I hope. Guns. Some low grade. Like, no charcoal. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of cloth. I think I'll just blow this last loot room, and then we can probably uh, bounce out of here since this should be mostly everything. All right, one, uh, that's the battery. That's gonna be the battery for sure. All right, well, you know what? Not a bad haul. Take anything you need, please. Yeah, I'm pretty set All right. overall. This guy's a Chad, dude. He doesn't want shit. I respect it, man. This guy's on some destroy lonely Ken Carson type opium beat. He's gotta have like lockers somewhere though, but they're probably not worth rating for. No, I don't think so. I think they're pretty poor because they live on an iceberg, so, you know. Yeah. I guess that's fair. It's hard to get guns. That's why they just had a bunch of, like, sulfur, but nothing else. Because it's hard to get guns. So I'm just picking up shit. My bad. Do you have any boom for the uh, uh, tugboat right now, or should we do that later? Uh, I could craft it with that GP. I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to craft the boom up. It's just one armor door. So I'm going to craft up the boom, and then uh, I'm down to just fly around and look for it if you want. Okay. All right, perfect. If you need anything, you let me know. I'll let you know when I have the boom crafted and shit. Well, we got to raid the uh, the iceberg guys, which is kind of nice, actually. But I want to find this tugboat. I'm, like, determined to find it. It seems like it's going to have to be an online, which will be interesting. I have no idea how this is going to fare. I've never raided a tugboat. Well, I did raid a tugboat online, and they just despawned everything. But we also didn't bring enough, so, you know, it's kind of on me. Let me just uh, deposit all this juice I just got, and uh, we'll craft up that boom. All right, guys, uh, I have six rockets, enough for an armored door on a tugboat, a full heavy set. I got like the whole shebang. We're going to open, we're going to land on the tugboat and I'm going to put this on, start rocketing. I'm going to launch in a flame rocket in there too. Oh man, they're not going to know what hit them. No chance. I'll just drop you off at Bandit and uh, we can, um, uh, I'll just start searching and we'll just look for this tugboat. I'm going to just fly all around the coast. I hope it's not parked out in the deep ocean, but since they're still online, I assume it's not. I assume it's still near the coast. Wait, who owns it again? Uh, it was the guys in chat. I don't remember their name. It was like, I don't know. It was like Turkish or something, maybe. It was like Fajord Soma or something. I don't know. I don't remember their names. There was like four of them, I think. They're always in chat, though. All right, I'll go start the, I'll go start the search. If I find it, um, I'll let you know and I'll come pick you up. All right, I think I'm just gonna start over here for now, looking on this side of the map. I'll go check the fishing villages. This is what I originally thought was their base, but yeah, starting by checking the fishing villages is definitely a good move, for sure. A lot of times these guys will park their tugboats in fishing villages. Oh, wait, wait, is this it? Armored doors? Code locks. I don't think this is it. No, we saw this yesterday. It had it had a bunch of bags in it. It's been upgraded, but that's not the boat we're looking for. Close, but not quite. Looks like our friend didn't bring enough scrap for, for a heli. Oh, jeez. I'm the best gambler N.A. Bold claim. So it's in neither of these fishing villages. All right, I'm just going to fly along the coast, see if I could find it. Worst case scenario, we have to start doing like coastal guard navy search patterns in the water or something we don't want to end up doing that i just got so excited every time i see a tugboat i just get so excited how close do you actually have to be to see the tugboat i guess let's find out here with this one in fishing village how close do you have to be 
I mean, you got to be pretty close for it to render in, bruh. Okay, good to know. I'm hoping that the guys in the bottom left aren't the owners of it. I'm pretty sure this group is just doing a tugboat wipe. Because, like, we saw it and it had, like, a bunch of furnaces on it. You know, it was all, like, decked out. You know, it doesn't look like a clan tugboat. It looks like a tugboat that someone's actually living out of. So, I mean, I'm assuming they don't own it. This, the clan doesn't own it. I don't know why they'd put furnaces on a tugboat. I feel like that would be a waste of time for the clan. Unless they're, like, just trolling. I guess for now we'll keep looking. I've got a bad feeling that it's out in the middle of nowhere, though. Doesn't look like it's around these islands, though. Which is good. I gotta go pick up Ragnar because he lost all the all the scrap. Honestly, raiding one of these would probably be a good call. It's not really what we're after. This is it! This is it! This is it! This is it! That's it! That's the fucking tugboat! I'm landing, we gotta fight! He's right here, east, 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 straight east, in the field. Nice. Killed him too? How many are there, Gino? I think three or four, but I only see two. They're gonna come out of that tugboat though. We got to get them on a timer if we can. Yep, this is them. We should uh, loot this other guy's kit. Watch the tugboat. He's on the tugboat? Okay. They were crafting. Boom. Uh oh okay we got to try and board it we have to board it somehow okay perfect here i'm gonna give you this it's got an hv launcher loaded i'm gonna try and fly onto the boat and fucking just rocket his ass if it comes down to it no 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 just come come in and just fucking we're gonna board it and rocket his ass hold on i'm gonna make him think we're gonna go oil or something hold on i'm gonna land us on oil now that we know like a general location We'll be good to go. We could, if we could bait them to oil, that'd be insane. All right. Let me just heal up to full and we'll try and, uh, we, all we need to do, if we could just get on the tugboat, I think we can win. I only have two. Yeah, here's uh, I have five left total, so we got to be sparing with it. I'm going to try and fly low over the tugboat and we ne both need to just jump off, jump off. You know what I mean? Like we're just going to fucking blow up the mini. Fuck it. Shouldn't we dive bomb it then? Yeah, yeah. You'll see. You'll see what I'm going to do when it looks like it's time to jump out. Just jump out and uh, yeah, hold that rocket. So rocket them just in case. Just if you see him, rocket him. We got to find this tugboat, though. I'm hoping it didn't leave. It can't be that far, though. It's here. It's here. Okay, get ready to jump out. He's on the coast right now. No, he already had the heavy armor on. Damn, these guys are pros, dude. I'm going to go buy a sub and sink their boat. I think that's what has to happen here. Damn, those guys, they, they fucking, damn, they fucking one-upped us, dude. Nice. Okay. All right. I need to tech tree over to a fucking torpedo because I don't have the BP. And I have no idea how much this is going to cost. And I'm hoping I have enough. I think it's tier two. Because then I could just get in the car and go run to a fishing village and sink their shit. And then we'll be chilling. Where's the torpedo? How much does it cost? Oh my god, it's literally the last thing on the tech tree. You're lying. Okay, new strategy, new strategy. I'm gonna pick up that tier two, take it with me. Okay, those guys are fucking chads, dude. He had the heavy armor on deck and ready to go. Insane. Which is actually really not good, because now I don't have any more heavy armor left. I guess it doesn't matter, because we're about to sink their shit. So, I just really need to bring components. 
We're good. We should be good. 100% we're good. Okay, I bought torpedoes. Fuck, man. There's no way we lose the tugboat like this. Lose sight of the tugboat. No, we had it too. I flubbed up. I didn't expect him to be already full heavy on the thing. Honestly, I, that was like a good play on their part. All right. 89 times three torpedoes. I think that's enough to blow through even an armored door. So I can probably raid the whole thing. We just have to find it. That's the biggest issue. Okay, I got a submarine. I'm just gonna take all my extra scrap. Okay, never mind. I got a submarine. And I need to grab low grade. Ugh. This is a slow and arduous process because I'm making it slow and arduous and I suck. I'm really hoping I could find this tugboat again, man. I'm really, 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 really hoping. All right, it's time to go tugboat hunting, baby. If we could just sink it, then we could get control no problem. All I got to do is sink it. Well, all I got to do is find it again, dude. I searched for that tugboat for like two or three hours last night. Man, I'm so excited to find it and we fuck it up. Uh, I fucked it up, man. Maybe I could have come up with a better plan. I don't know. Wait. Is that it? Please tell me this is it. I don't think it's it, though. I don't remember it having glowing doors. This is definitely not it. Fuck, man. I just went literally all around the map looking for this tugboat. Couldn't find it. What up? Okay, so I went all around the map. I wasn't able to find them. If they went east, they're probably nearby. I think they just went out into the deep ocean. So it's up to you. But if you want to fly the mini and just scout and look for it, it's the only boat that has like lockers and shit on the back here. Like there'd be lockers and shit and furnaces on the front. If you want to find it, I can just cruise around in the sub and uh, locate it. It's up to you. And then that way we could just instantly fucking find their boat and just go sink it. Yeah. Um, I'm not very confident in my helicopter flying skills. Okay. Let me think. Do you have enough low grade to get to my base? There's like a 150 in the mini or something like that. Do you want to just drive the sub to, to my base and we'll park the sub, locate the tugboat? I'll, I'll explain the play. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll fly around, we'll find the tugboat. And I'll just F1 kill once as soon as we find it or you F1 kill, whatever's easier. But I know how to use the subs pretty well. And uh, we'll just have someone follow it with the mini. So the whole time. So it's always being followed and would chase with the sub. How's that sound? It sounds good. All right. Yeah. So if you want to just take the sub back to my base, I can fly back. No problem. There's enough low grade in there and I'll get more low. I'll just get like a thousand low grade and we'll go canvas the ocean. Okay. It's a lot easier to do it in a mini. I'm determined to find this boat, dude. I'm determined. I don't think they're going that far off the coast, but I can't believe I flubbed such an easy... I mean, it wasn't easy. It's, it's hard, but I wish I had just been a little bit more patient and bought a sub instead, instead of trying to rock it into it. I feel like that would have been a little bit better. Wait, another tugboat right here. Is this the one? Found it. Found it. This is it. They're at missile silo. I found it. Okay, just try and fly the mini as good as you can. I'm gonna go blow that bitch up. Just do your best. It's right next to missile silo on the coast. Okay, this is our second chance. Our God-given second chance. I cannot mess this up. Please don't flub. Please don't flub. Don't flub. Please don't flub. That's all I care about. <sighs> I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie. All I need to do is sink it. If we could just sink it, we're good. As long as I just sink the boat, we're chilling. That's all that matters. Once we sink it, I can go back to base. I can craft boom or whatever. No problem. All I need to do is sink this damn boat. 12 or 13 torpedoes. It's not even that many. I just need to hit them all and not get shot out of the, the sub. Oh, but he's standing on top of it right now. I'm going to just try and spray him off, I think. I don't think he sees me. I'm shooting it. He definitely sees me. God damn it, man. 
This is so impossible. I don't know. I, d I actually don't know how to raid a tugboat like this. This is like s the most difficult thing ever. God damn it, dude. I still have enough, but it's just finding it. I got it to half health. All I need to do is hit it 13 torpedoes. Um, here, I can fly really quick. I need more low grade for this mini, I think. Yeah, I'm going to get you more low grade and I'm going to buy another sub. Yeah. And then uh, I'm going to try again because I still have a bunch of torpedoes. I it's so dude, it's like impossible. I, I don't know how you're supposed to sink a tugboat when they're on it. It is literally impossible. I still have some scrap left over on me. Okay. That you can use for a sub. Perfect. This shit is so hard, dude. I don't even understand. It's like they're always on the tugboat. And the thing is when they get offline, they probably just fly like drive out way out into the ocean and then like log out. So their tugboat never decays. I mean, it's smart. I can't hate. I cannot hate on the strategy, but it's so frustrating. All I need to do is sink the tugboat and then we're good. If I could just sink it, we win. I'm making more torpedoes because fuck it, dude. We're going crazy out here. All right, I'm going to bring a thousand low grade. I'm going to bring enough scrap for diving tank and shit. All right. There you go. All right, now we got to go find this damn thing again, dude. It's always like trying to find it is like the hardest thing ever. I, I don't like this is so impossible. These guys are pros with it. I respect it. I do respect it. I wonder what they were doing near missile silo, though. Oh, shit. Ragnar just logged out. Okay, I'm going to just use this time to try and find their boat. I have to like shoot a torpedo, dive, shoot a torpedo, dive, and like repair the sub all at the same time. Oh my god, I ran out of low grade too. Oh my god. Oh. Ah. I forgot to put more in. Fuck. Okay, we gotta rethink this strategy. We gotta completely rethink this. This strategy is not working. I mean, we just need to get on the tugboat while they're not on it. Or I just need like a literally a 30 second window without being spotted where I can just blast torpedoes at the tugboat. And, and then we win. It's literally that simple. It's just I need that one minute, you know, 30 second, one minute, whatever grace period that seems impossible to get. It's also just so hard because like you never know when you're going to see the tugboat. So you always have to be ready, which is really frustrating. Okay, now I got to go buy another mini. This is when I wish I had like Lucky Llama with me. This is the part of Solo that I hate. I wish Lucky Llama was with me. I will scour every single block of this map tonight. I don't care. I'm going to find that tugboat. One way or another, I'm going to find it. I've decided it is a wise idea to take Bradley. I got dinner. I'm getting pretty sleepy though. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. But... Just gonna take Bradley for now, farm a little Bradley, farm some helis, farm some low grade, and I'm gonna go search for the tugboat far out in the ocean, probably when I wake up from my nap, because I'm pretty sure what they're doing with the tugboat is they're going like out here or whatever, and they're parking it like way out into the ocean. I'm pretty sure that's what they're up to. So I'm going to just try and look for it then because it is impossible to raid. They're pretty good players. They know, they know what they're, you know, they know what they're doing, which uh, is crazy. They're like a well-oiled machine. So we'll see what happens. But uh, in the meantime, take some Bradleys, you know, work on the base a little bit. Maybe do some other raids that aren't a tugboat. But honestly, it is my devoted mission to raid these guys in the tugboat at this point. I am devoted. I will search the high seas. I don't care. I want to raid these guys. Let's see what we get. Hopefully it's some good stuff. I want some C4. I definitely want C4 to raid the tugboat. All right, we're already starting off. Not so hot. Okay, we'll take it, I guess. Four MLRS, not bad. Last crate, give us some C4 and some HVs to make it worth it. So I could take the next Bradley. Oh my god, dude. That's gotta be Earth's worst Bradley. I mean, it was decent, but... Oh, jeez. Oh, well. Well, luckily we have some more Bradleys to take, so... Hopefully not all of them are that way. Ragnar has gotten off, so it's just me. I've decided to craft up some rockets instead. I think that'd be a smarter decision. 
and I have literally a trillion low grade. I literally just farmed a low grade and I'm going to search the high seas for this darn tugboat uh, and hope that I find it. I have no idea where it could be. I don't know if they're online or not right now. This could spell disaster or this could spell dub. I have no idea what it's going to be. I'm hoping dub and I'm hoping it doesn't take me too long to find this damn tugboat. But I have a strong feeling it's going to take me a while to find. But hopefully not. I'm really hoping that, you know, we could find it in a good amount of time and it doesn't take too long. I have the submarine if needed. But my thought process was if I find this tugboat, I need to raid it immediately instead of risking having it move again. So that's why I just crafted up some rockets instead. And uh, I'm doing that. I have no idea how far out I can actually go which I'm kind of worried about because if you go too far outside of the map, it'll just kill you. So we definitely do not want that. That's for sure. We're just going to search. I'm assuming, you know, they'd be out probably about this far. I'm imagining maybe even a little further out. I'm just going to have to, this is going to probably take many trips around the map. I think I have a strong feeling we're going to go around the map like five times. So we'll see. I might even just pause the recording. Let me look. I have not too much storage left. And uh, we'll see. Okay. I found a tugboat. This doesn't appear to be the one we're looking for, but this actually looks kind of raided or something. I'm not sure what this is. I just got so excited for just a minute. Oh, man. I mean, this is out here, though. This looks like it's been already looted. So we'll just keep going, but interesting nonetheless. Looking for this damn tugboat, dude. This is gonna be like a one in a trillion find. I don't even, I don't even know. This is also assuming that it's gonna be like, it's not docked near the coast, which I assume it's not. We're in safe zone. Wait, wait, hold up. This shit's got a mini on it. Wait, dude, this thing's probably gonna be loaded. Mark this, money. Should I just come back and sub raid these? I mean, they're lying, but they're mini HP. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Better choose fast before he gets on. I mean, I think even if they get on, like, as long as they know I was never here, we're good. I'm going to just keep going. But I have this marked because this is going to be an insane raid. I'm going to, I think I'm going to sub raid these. These other guys play so, so strategically with their tugs that like, it's impossible to online them, but it might be possible if I have like rockets. Drive the wave and they're getting raided. Yeah, no, that's literally, literally that's what happened. And it like fucked us really bad actually. But yeah, that's pretty much precisely what happened. I'm kind of surprised people are doing that. Like stashing their loot like that. Our tugboat's so up. Ours is? Yeah. What? Really? Who showed you it? You're right. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's wild. It's six oil too. Wow. So nobody's like searching the ocean for tug. I mean, I guess I kind of get it. It's like way out of the way, but that's still pretty surprising. Oh man, I got so hyped as soon as I saw the tugboats. Fuck. At least they're not that hard to find though. Oh, oh, it's another hidden tugboat. I'm gonna fucking raid this one. I have the expo ammo. Hmm. Hmm. Dave? <laughs> oh wow. Dave, this is free loot, bro. One sheet door. One sheet door to all this fucking, what are you doing? Uh, uh, Dave, I think these like quote unquote hidden tugboats are actually just free cheese. I think this is the freest cheese ever. Kill some Ben. I will, I just, I'm gonna get off to the thing first. Remember Ben, they can't spawn in, off the grid. Oh, oh you can't? Wow, get that's fucking crazy. What? You gotta be next to oil. Will respawn. Oh, that's insane. Oh my god. I'm just gonna throw a door on this then. I might make this like my uh temporary tugboat. What a bad spot stash too. I mean it's decent. It's not, not even far out. This is as far out as I think you can go. No, go farther out. I don't think so. We're, we're like 10 grids far out. What a fucking find, bro. 
These guys are gonna wake up upset. They're stash base rated. I guess, man. I'm not really sure. I would not do this. I like at all. I would two lines of rockets. I'd rather just have that in a normal base. Okay. Well, that's like the weirdest thing ever. I definitely gotta raid that Russian tugboat, dude. What the fuck? Dude, I would not have raided that, at least immediately, if it was if it had an armored door on it. Alright, here goes nothing. Let's go uh to the top left of the map where the Russian tugboats were and see if we can't uh raid their stuff. I'm actually really surprised. This seems like a kind of popular thing to do. Tugboats have been out for a couple weeks now. Maybe like two weeks almost. I'm surprised people are like storing their loot like this. Like I would not want to do that. I would not want to store my loot at the edge of the map behind a single door. I respect it. I just don't think it's very smart, but we're going to go submarine out there and hopefully it's a, you know, successful raid, I guess. Wait, Dave, one of the tugboats is missing all of a sudden. Wasn't there three tugboats? The guy, the one with the guy sleeping in it is missing. Hold up. Let me sink this shit real quick. All right, I sunk this boat. I'm gonna take his heli and try and push it or move it over here so he can't open this door. Okay, now he can't, he won't be able to open that door. Okay, let me go raid that, uh, let me go raid that. Into the depths we go. Now I gotta find this damn tugboat at the bottom of the ocean floor. Here it is. All right, dude, I am the tugboat terrorist. I wish I could find the tugboat that I'm looking for though. Because this one isn't the one I'm looking for either. Although this one's probably going to be really stacked. Okay, we're in. Loot. Is, uh... Is that really the right one? Yeah, this is the one with the tier 3 in it. So far, very bad signs. Oh, Jesus. Dude, what the hell? Okay. Maybe I just, uh, maybe I should just raid the other one. Okay, I'm very surprised that they're dead broke. That's very surprising to me. Okay, well, let's go raid this other tugboat up top here. I wonder if the guy was online when I was scouting this out, and he figured out what I was up to and tried to take everything away. I wonder if that's actually what just happened. I'm just gonna use torpedoes on this one. Eh, actually, no, I'm not. I don't know. This, does this one even have boxes in it? I don't have high hopes for this one at all. It's turning nighttime anyways. We, we might as well just raid it just for the fun of it. I think these guys were just dead broke, maybe. I don't know. Not a single ounce of sulfur. Well, I am going to loot what I can and get out of here, I think. That's all I can take for now. Let's take the mini, go back to base. When it turns morning again, I will uh, keep looking, I suppose. Tell me what's online. I'm gonna fucking raid it. All the loot, bro. All the boom gone. I, dude. <sighs> dude, oh, that's so fucking so dumb, bro. I raided their base earlier. <laughs> All right, guys. I think that just. I'm gonna watch that tugboat just go into the distance. I think that about sums up my uh, experience playing. I've been searching, I'm like so brain melted right now. I've been searching, genuinely, I've been searching the ocean for four or five hours now. I started out solo. I couldn't find anything. I even got Dave on to help me with no luck. I'm really tired. I think this sums up our wipe. We still had some really good tugboat raids. Honestly, this wipe was so much fun. If I remember, uh, 
I'm going to try and give my base and all my loot to Ragnar tomorrow. Because he's super chill. I like him a lot. It's fun playing with him. But I am so tired right now. I think we're just going to hang it up. I know it's probably not the ending you expected or wanted or whatever. But yeah, I mean, I'm just... I'm so tired and honestly this tugboat has been hidden so well. It's insane. We've checked every corner genuinely every corner of the map, nearly every square we could check. I've been checking. I've used like three or four thousand low grade easily, just flying minis around the map. And nothing. It's it's insane. I wherever they're hiding this boat, I don't know. That or it's it's bugged or glitched underwater, which can happen or they know some exploit that we don't and can get out of the world border because that that's insane i have no idea where their boat is but honestly props to those guys they gave us the start for the solo wipe so i can't be too upset anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this has probably been a really long video if you're still here to the end i love you all right i appreciate it make sure you're subbed up maybe like the video leave a comment say hi to your mom for me i don't know look i'll see you guys on the next one Peace out, everybody. Have a wonderful night. Mwah.